What is your query? Which okay, motivation. Very good. How to keep motivated students' strategy? Lovke Sharma means strategy. Lovke Sharma means strategy. Arti Kumari, how to focus on our goal? Focus. Very good. Shubham Thakur, C set. Then we have um, Mehak Preet. Mehak Preet is asking 2020 work from home. So <laughs> prepare from home. Very good. <laughs> Plus motivation. Okay, I got it. When to join test series? We are there. How to improve Hindi medium or English? Okay, English. This is about me. My name is Rahul Kumar. And. Uh, I am a graduate in commerce and a chartered accountant. And I am the director here, academic director basically. And I appeared three times in the UPSC interview. And uh, I have been teaching for last seven years actively. And I have uh, worked in the government also for eight years in various uh, government organizations. I am addressing a uh, lot of students in the colleges. I have almost every week one workshop in different colleges. And uh, more than 100 students have qualified under my guidance. The Didemi IAS, at Didemi IAS, we have impacted more than 30,000 students through our initiatives. And uh, we have now 100 plus toppers and 15 plus active courses running for various uh, optionals and general studies. So this is about me and the Didemi IAS. If we see the prelims part, what is the cutoff of the prelims examination? How much is the cutoff? As you can see here, it is somewhere around 50 to 55 percent, right? I even sometimes it is less than 50 percent, like 98, or sometimes it is even reaching 116 out of 200. That means somewhere 58 percent. So we can say if we have 60 percent marks, then we are safe. So we just need to score 60 percent marks in the prelims part, right? Now, what is the overall strategy for UPSC preparation? Right? What is the overall strategy? This is a step by step approach which we'll be discussing and we will be solving your queries. The first and the most important thing is the syllabus. Syllabus. And syllabus is something which will tell you what to do and what not to do, what to read, what not to read. So, one request I have everyone, please take the syllabus, print out and keep it with you. Like most of us, we go through the syllabus and later on we forget. But UPSC, one of the very myth about the UPSC is that everything under the sun comes in the UPSC. But that's not the truth. Asa nahi hai. There is a predefined syllabus and that's why people who take care of the syllabus, they are already very, very uh, comfortable with the study. So you have to be very, very well versed about the syllabus. So you have to take one assignment. Please write down, everyone. Take a printout of the syllabus. So what we will do, we will post the telegram, uh, we will post the syllabus on the telegram channel, the PDF. You can take a printout, right? So in today's workshop, I will be giving a lot of assignments to you. Because after the workshop, you should take some steps, which you can, which can help you in the examination preparation, right? So first assignment is, Everyone, please write, take the printout of the syllabus within the next 24 hours. And how many of you are promising me this, th this thing? How many of you are promising me that you'll be taking a printout? Yes, Arti, we will post on the Telegram channel, right? So we will post on the Telegram channel. You can join on the Telegram channel. We will share the Telegram channel link with you. You can join from there and you can get it, right? The second thing is previous year questions, right? See, basically, in UPSC, syllabus, it tells us the broad outline, right? But the previous year questions,
it will guide you at the micro level it will guide you about which topics they are asking right for example in the polity in the prelims examination they are focusing on two major aspect one is fundamental right and second is parliament so this thing you can observe based upon the previous year question analysis right second inside the topic which micro topic to focus so which topic to focus upon and which micro topic to focus upon micro topic for example inside the parliament inside the parliament topic they are focusing on say lok sabha say rajya sabha so you will be knowing about the topics and the micro topic on which they are focusing this thing is possible only from the previous year questions right so you'll get to know at the micro level everything number 2 what to leave you can decide based upon the previous year question right number 3 based upon the previous year question you can check the language of the questions what kind of options question framing what kind of options what kind of statement they are giving how how much is the length of the question so you get to know everything at a very very micro level if you look into the previous year question right so for the previous year question i would like to request you okay and everyone online i have a request to you please keep writing please keep making the notes right you have the paper and pen with you and please keep writing please keep writing please keep making the notes because after some time you will forget all of these things manish please focus here okay i can promise you about the youtube later but i can promise that if you are here you can understand everything you will not need the recording so don't wait for the recording abhi jo bhi hai wahan par focus kijiye right so coming back previous year questions i have i have an assignment for you please check the 2021 prelims papers and 2021 mains papers and you just have to read at a glance this is the assignment number 2 how many of you are accepting this assignment okay this see any assignment it has to be done within the time limit so it, this has to be done within 72 hours that means uh, uh, like tomorrow spend 1 hour then uh, the day next to tomorrow 1 hour so daily schedule 1 hour yourself just observe and i'm i'm telling you you have lot of questions regarding what to read what not to read uh, which portion to leave which portion to focus upon the answer will be given by the previous year questions previous year question is the best trend that you can have so this is the assignment number 2 assignment number 3 order a hard copy of previous year question bank okay and it should be solved so that you can also look at the answers just have a glance just have an idea are you with me everyone
Okay, very good. Some of you who have already done, you can you can type done. Those of you who have already done, you can type done. And those of you who are going to do, you can write will do. Okay, Nishita Joshi, Purva Gupta, Rana Sek, done. Tanya Kumari, very good, very good. Right? So the first step is syllabus and the previous question. They are your best friend. The second step is NCERT. Right? So about the NCERT, there are many myths. Okay? Okay, before I move further, I would like to know from you what is your strategy or what is your problem? What are the problems which you are facing in the NCRT? Regarding NCRT, whatever questions you have, you can ask me. Let's focus on the NCRT. What is the problem? What is the question that you have regarding the NCRT? Please ask me. Now let us focus on the NCRT. Online, here, yes, your questions. Okay, should we go through each page of NCRT? With history subject, which one should I read, old history or new history? Okay. Mm. Is it compulsory to do all NCRT? Okay. Uh, notes. Notes making. Dipti Panda. If the base is clear, sh we should still need to go through every book. Okay. If the base is clear. Okay. Economy. What should I refer? Okay. What to read? What? Vandana Mathur. What to read and what to leave? Malti Raja. Which subject need to study in the NCRT? Subject list. What is the subject list for the NCRT? What to refer for history? Dipti Panda, old, new, Tamil. <laughs> That's a very good question. History me. Old, new, and Tamil. Which one to refer? OK, fine. So I'll move. The first question is, how important NCRTs are basically importance of the NCRT we can see first in the prelims in the prelims it helps in two way one is the direct questions you can find from NCRT there will be approximately five to eight questions you can find directly from the NCRT then the basics of advanced concepts you can find from the NCRT right in the mains examination the NCRT will be important for interlinking the concept to know the historical background of the concept Because suppose we are reading, say, agriculture, agriculture sector in India. If we have an idea about the history of the agriculture in the British time, that we can read from the NCRT. Suppose we are starting the banking chapter. So in the banking, what is the history of banking? We can check in the NCRT. So historical background you can find in the NCRT. Otherwise, why NCRTs are very good source? Why NCRT is very, very good source? the strength of NCRT or the positive point of the NCRTs. Number one, 
they start from zero. So normally, like uh, we could talk about any particular student. Suppose this is a student, right? Now this student can be from commerce background or science background or from arts background. Suppose the person is from commerce background, this person will be strong in maybe economy, but weak in science. Arts background, it will be, th this person will be weak in the science. So, you know, based upon our background, we have some weak area. So for the weak area, we have to start from the zero. A commerce student has to start from zero in the science. A science background student has to start zero from in the history, in the geography, the art subject. So you have to start from zero in your, in those subjects which are not your graduation or your 12th class subject, right? So this is, now what is the meaning of starting from zero? Basically, you will get the familiarity with the terminologies, the basic terminologies. Because in the NCRT, they are preparing it for the school student. So a school student have to understand the zero of everything. For example, in the polity, what is the meaning of parliament? As simple as that. Even though we have already gone through in the school time, but if we read it now, it gets refreshed, right? Number two, there are some good glossary given at the end. For example, at the end of 11th class NCRT, there is a good glossary of around uh, 100 uh, words which you can use in your mains examination, based upon which they can ask the questions in the prelims examination. So the glossary part of the NCRT is very good, which is given at the end of NCRT. You should, you must go through each and every word given at the end of the NCRT, because those words will give you the clarity, 100% clarity about the concept. And number three, they have very good detailed concepts Detailed concepts. Detailed concepts means, uh, for example, geography. In the geography, about the climatic topics, they will start from very basic. Like they will teach you in a very layman language. Very, very, you know, easy to understand, easy to remember, and uh, you can correlate, you can interlink without any external teacher. So these detailed concepts you will find in the NCRT, right? And these NCRTs, their language is very good. Language is very simple. And language is also very, uh, you can say, short, short sentences. So in UPSC, the big problem is, sir, what kind of language we should use? In essay, in answer writing, in optional, what kind of language we should use? So you can find a good language in the NCERT. NCERT will provide you very, very good language. Okay. So his question is, in the answer writing, should we write in our own words or should we write in the words of the book, right? So my answer is you have to have a mix of both. So in the answer writing, you have to use your own words. The language has to be your own, own language, rather I should say own language. Plus use the keywords or key terms of the books, from the books. Like the framing of the language can be your own choice. That will be dif different from person to person. The way of expression will be different from person to person. But the keyword you have to pick from the NC, uh, from the book or from the study material, right? So this is a you know answer to your question about the answer writing, right? Okay, I'll I'll come to that. 
I'll, I'll come to that. So language is very simple and short, right? Okay. Now, the first question is, the next question is, which NCRT? Which class NCRT? Or which subject NCRT? This is a big question. So, it, this is a very, if you talk about class, so class 6 to 12 hota hai normally, but depending upon your knowledge base, your background, as I told you in the starting only, suppose you are from science background, so science background student can start the polity from maybe sixth. But say, see just one thing, sixth polity will not take much time, maybe two hours may finish kar denge aap. Short hoti hai, sixth class ke student kitne bade hoti hai, unko mostly to wo pictures ke through and wo stories ke through wo samjhaya wa hoti hai. So you have a reading on two hours, complete the NCRT, done. But most importantly, the NCRTs, most of the NCRTs are very good, especially from 11th to 12th. 11th to 12th NCRTs are very good, okay? So six to 10, you can read, it is option, I mean, it is uh, not mandatory. 6 to 10 is not mandatory. If you have the time, you can go through. 6 to 10, if you have the time, you can go through. Or in your weak area. Suppose you are weak in science. So maybe you can go to 6 class NCRT also. You can have the basic understanding so that you are not uh, stuck in the advanced concept. Right? So 6 to 10 is not mandatory. But 11th and 12th is mandatory. 11th and 12th is mandatory. Is it clear, everyone? So 6 to 12, 6 to 10 will depend, 6 to, 6 to 10, 6 to 10 will depend upon your need. It is your choice. Read it for your weak subject. Read for the weak subjects. Your weak subject. Right? Now coming to the subject wise. So subject wise, there are two aspects. Number one, the sequence. What should be the sequence? Which subject we should start with? So in UPSC, the two subjects are very important. Which are those two subjects? Polity and economy. The, every subject is important, but why I'm choosing polity and economy? Current affairs lot of interlinkages, more, more practical real world, yes. So sequence wise, you should start from the polity and economy. First complete these NCRT. Why? Because they are first of all forming very important in the exam. You have uh, prelims, mains, and these are important for the current affairs. And these are current of, uh, important for the answer writing. So polity and economy should be studied first. After polity and economy, you can go to history. Because history will help you understand the history of uh, Indian polity, history of economy and everything. So history can be second. And in the history, modern history. Uh, uh, not ancient or medieval. Ancient medieval you can do later. After the modern history, the third you can go for geography. Because geography will be again important from the current affairs point of view, mapping your current events, climate change, all of these things. After the geography you go for environment. After the environment, you go for science. 
and after the science you go to ancient history and medieval history and also art and culture because their current affairs importance is not that much high and even there is not much interlinking except like these have the interlinking among each other like ancient and art and culture are interlinked medieval and art and culture is interlinked but ancient and uh, uh, polity is hardly any interlinking there is interlinking but very very rare not that much important are you with me everyone so this should be the sequence polity economy history geography and environment then science and then ancient medieval and art and culture i'll i'll come to that i will come to the book list of every every of these subject don't worry i will come to the book list i will share the book list of each of these subject what are other subject barkha abhi to yahi to subjects aa rahe hain aur kya subjects hain aapke sare subject yahan pe cover ho jate hain right now coming to how to study how to study right so i was uh, just telling you the questions are directly coming in the previous year right so you can see this question you can solve from the previous year directly from the ncert especially in two subject you will find geography and history geography and history especially you will find in the question uh, like question directly from the uh, ncert two subject very important geography and history rather i will say you can go to the ncert of 6 to 12 of geography and of history it will not be a problem right so 6 to 12 ncert of geography and history will be okay right as you can see the questions are coming directly in the economy also you know economy you can go for 11th and 12th or if you think you are very very weak then go for 9th or 10th not below that rather 11 12th is sufficient 11 12th is sufficient in the economy polity also 11 12th is sufficient still if you think that you have lot of time bahut samay diya hai bhagwan ne aapko aur sari ichhaye puri karni hai ncert padhne ki to aapki choice hai you can go to 6th and 12th 6 uh, 6 to 10 it is your choice but not compulsory right in the mains exam also we can see previous year questions like these two questions we can find from the mains examination from the ncert from the society ncert society there are two ncert 11th sorry not 11th class 12th class 12th class two ncerts are there they are important so these are the questions coming from the ncert are you with me everyone online please come on camera please join with the camera all of you are now disappearing from the camera should i also off my camera and i will also uh, ask my speakers to off their camera they will speak to you without camera will that be okay okay thank you thank you everyone i will request everyone to please come on camera unless there is some other problem aapka camera toota hua hai mobile kuch problem hai but i think that is not a big problem for you people now there are two approaches how to read ncert there are two approaches how to read ncert there are two approaches one is lazy approach those of you who have plenty of time in the life <laughs> you can be lazy 2025 may appear ho rahe hain 2026 may appear ho rahe hain right 
suppose you have a lot of time so you can read first as a novel then underline then in the third reading go and check the questions at the end in the fifth reading go make the notes and the like that means these five step you can follow but i don't suggest this this strategy this strategy is suggested only for those people who have plenty of time and i think if you are a undergraduate student you don't have the time and after graduation if you are appearing in 23 24 you don't have the time to do all of this so this is a lazy approach right and what is the smart approach in the smart approach you just read ncrt two times and practice the questions based upon the ncrt how to do that so you have to follow the pq srt approach what is the pq srt approach pq srt approach let us see first you have to take a preview and please write it somewhere this is important use this approach for reading the ncrt pq srt technique you have to go through the major headings and the point you like you pick up the ncrt and just go through the major headings so you develop the clarity what is the sequence what are the major concepts which have been discussed start get getting a familiarity with the content right after this you check the questions given at the end of the chapter questions given at the end of every chapter you just have a glance just have a reading of those questions after this the third step is reading thoroughly read the whole chapter right and the next step is summarize make the short notes just write the keywords either on a separate paper or even you can write in the sides of the book on the sides of the books you can read you can do that on the side of the book you can write the keywords and then the step number 5 is test t then you write or you just think about the answer of the questions which have been given at the end of the book is it interesting everyone so i am giving you a homework next assignment are you ready for the assignment <laughs> pick up the economy 11th class ncrt chapter number 1 and 2 and read using these tricks are you with me everyone online please at next assignment next assignment is pick up the economy 11th class ncrt chapter number 1 and 2 and read it using the tricks that i have given here pq srt technique Okay, everyone. PQ SRT technique. Okay, so first you go through the PQ SRT technique. Based upon this, you read the basic chapters, and after this. you go through the previous questions of the NC, uh, upsc as i told you previous question is the basic 
material that you must have to go through the previous year question of the UPSC for every chapter. Open the previous year question bank and start going through the previous year question. Start looking into the previous year question. See, in UPSC, one thing you have to understand. Don't try to be perfectionist. In overall preparation, I'm telling you, try to be incremental. Try to be incremental. That means, you, when you refer to the previous year question, don't try to solve the question. Rather, just look into the questions. Okay, which question I can solve and which question I can't solve. There you will find the, uh, you know, some clarity. Okay, this much of thing I have covered in the NCRT and this much of thing I have yet to cover from the books, from the class, from the notes. Right? So you will start getting confidence when you see the same question in the previous year question. After that, make the notes of NCRT. So in the PQSRT only, you are making the notes, right? And maybe in the second reading, do one more reading of the book and write down the keywords separately. Maximum 10, uh, maximum 25% content should be written separately. Maximum 25% content should be written separately. That means maximum 25% content should be in your notes. Only the keyword, sirf keyword aapke notes mein likhe milenge. It's not that you have to write everything, right? And then you have to make the practice of MCQ of the NCRT. You have to practice the MCQs. These MCQs we will provide, we provide in our courses. Hamare course mein wo available hote hain. So UPSC exam level question I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the question given at the end of the NCRT. These are the UPSC type questions. So we have 2,000 questions in our course, foundation course. So you can go through the MCQs of the NCRT. Practice the MCQs of the NCRT. After MC, uh, MCQ practice, whatever mistake you find, again go back to the notes and you find, okay, what was the point given over, over there? Because these MCQs are framed only from the NCRT, so you will not be facing much difficulty. Only MC, uh, MCQ, MCQs based upon the NCRT you have to follow, okay? I will try to show you something. Pavan Kalyan is saying, sir, I am working professional. That's why I will prepare for 2023-24 with proper notes and revision and previous question MCQ and main topic. Then why first approach is 25? Is it right plan? Pavan, you can discuss me separately, okay? Because uh, this is a very personal question. So I'm just showing you like the kind of questions that you have, like this type of questions. These are framed from the NCRT directly and we are providing it in our courses, right? So here you should be able to solve minimum 95% questions accurately. If you are able to solve 95% questions accurately, that means your testing of the NCRT is done. This is your final test of preparation. This is how you decide whether I am prepared right. Should I read it once more or not? This is your test of preparation, right? So in this manner, you can check yourself. Like this type of question we are giving for the students. And we are also giving the proper solution with proper explanation. So this kind of at least 20 different tests we will be giving to you. With me, everyone? Are you getting the clarity? What, how to, you know, how to go through the NCRT? Any questions so far? I'm planning to, I'm pre pursuing graduation. Can I start preparation during the graduation or after the graduation? You can start right now, Bilal. Now I completed my 12th NCRT. From where should I start? And now I'm getting confused to choose right graduation for me. Okay, Galaxy on Max. Galaxy on Max, please rename yourself. I will then answer you, okay? Okay, you people can schedule the counseling call with our team. Those people who want to be in touch with our team, you can book a counseling call. And uh, for that, we will share a, a link with you, okay? Just be here.
just give me 30 seconds i'm sharing the links with you because many of you are asking me the questions very personal questions so we'll be answering your questions and simultaneously uh, i am also sharing the links of the telegram channels which you should join okay so the second link which i have shared in the second link you can book a counseling meeting with me or my team right so any questions so far from this ncert abhi tak jo aapko bataya maine clear everyone right what should be the approach sequence we have discussed right how to make the notes how to make the notes right so i told you 25% of the content right in so in those ncert which are very simple explanatory lot of explanation is given you can even go to 1 by 10 rule like 100 words for 1000 words only 10% of the content you can take from the ncert right and don't make the notes textbook wise rather make the notes book wise what is the meaning of that suppose there is a topic of climate change now climate change topic may be given in geography ncert 6th class also 9th class also 12th class also so you prepare the note not the notes of the climate change and then add the content from 6th add the content from 9th and the 12th right suppose you are uh, preparing for the parliament parliament topic so parliament topic might be given in the 6th also 10th also 12th also 11th also so all the content you should have to write at a single notebook this is the approach you should follow for the notes making right which ncert so this thing you can write it down if you want to write i have given here history 6 to 12 new plus 11th and 12th old right as i told you for history and geography you can go for more books not a problem because in history and geography you can find uh, maybe 80 to 90% question from the ncert actually 80 to 90% question you will find from the ncert especially in the prelims examination because history geography mein zyada kuch change hota nahi hai koi zyada advanced concept hota nahi hai then for polity 11 12 is also sufficient science ke liye yes science ke liye 6 to 10 you have to go science 6 to 10 you have to go for class from class 11 chemistry book unit 14 biology and unit 4 and 5 so this uh, chemistry and biology they are important for the uh, environment part environment mein pollutants and other things you can cover from here so class 11 chemistry book and class 12 chemistry book and uh, uh, biology class 12 biology unit 8 9 10 these are some extra supplementary which you should cover from the 12th class 11th class ncerts otherwise science ke liye 6 to 10 is sufficient
Queria? Sorry? Part 1, part 2, yes, yes. Part 2, unit 16. Part 1 and part 2, unit 16 only, right? Then, culture, you can go through cl class 11, introduction to Indian art, and class 12, living craft traditions of India. Okay, there are some questions on YouTube. Sir, what not to read in NCRT? And how much time to spend on the NCRT? One month. One month, it is not the num number of months, it is the number of hours actually. One month may have one hour putting it. Yeah, 10 hours putting it. <laughs> ah, uh, you can do in one month, definitely. It depends upon your focus, your uh, number of hours that you're giving on, on a daily basis. 300 hours sufficient. So these are the NCRT. Now there are two questions which I can see on the chat box. Tamil Nadu books. Some of the books like uh, people refer for the ancient or from medieval history. Tamil Nadu board books. I will say if you are going through NCRT, then no need of Tamil Nadu book. Because in the NCRT, the things are given in much detail, which is required for UPSC. Tamil Nadu books are not detailed one, right? So mostly go through the NCRT, not the Tamil Nadu books. The next question is how much time to spend? So again, it is a very subjective question. It will depend upon your reading spin and all, right? But if you follow the PQSRT technique, then I think, uh, again, depending upon your study speed and all, 300 hours of total study should be sufficient. It will include, it include uh, reading twice, making notes and practicing MCQ. It includes everything, comprehensive preparation. So suppose you, uh, you have daily three hours, so three months you can do. Approximately three and a half months you can complete. Three hours daily, three and a half months you can complete. This is approximate, have this much of uh, time allocation. Maybe you can allo allocate four months three hours daily, maximum. If you have targeted, then you can complete in this. If you don't have targeted study, then you will take more time. And some of you who are very good in your school, maybe you are good, at, uh, very, very good in your school time, so you can even take less time. Maybe in two months you can complete, right? So there is no fast and, uh, you know, hard and fast rule. Basically, it will depend upon your background. Aapke background kya hai, uske upar kaafi kuch depend karega, right? Any further question on the NCRT part? Sorry? Okay, uh, this, uh, okay, geography. The list of books, right? This one? So geography six to eight, only if you are not clear with the concept, nine to 12, but a special focus on 11th and 12th. Any further question on NCRT from here? Anyone? 
क्लियर है ओनली एनसीआर टी बुक्स इनफ फॉर द प्रिलिम्स नो नोट एट ऑल ओनली एनसीआर टी आर नॉट इनफ नॉट इनफ एट ऑल नो 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 नोट एट ऑल and uh, we are also starting a ncert course like those of you who are looking for ncert classes and all so we also start we are starting a ncert foundation course this we will start from 4th of august so in this we will go through the all important ncerts there will be 3 to 4 classes every week of 2 hours each and you will also get the notes of important ones and total 2000 mcqs practice and we will also be linking with the previous year question we will you know uh, uh, we will show you the previous year questions right so ncert foundation we are starting from 4th of august this is also part of the gs foundation so those people who are looking to join or who have already joined the gs foundation the rgs foundation it includes ncert also so there will be uh, total in total approximately approximately 60 classes covering all the subject right so it will be available offline online both and fourth august we are starting the timing of the class will be uh, 5 pm to 7 pm so it will be on saturday and sunday and uh, one or two more days so weekend focused best rahega it will be focused on the weekend those people who are working you can definitely take the benefit of this right is it clear everyone if you are interested in joining this batch you can fill up the counseling form so we will we will support you right can we revise standard books and clear prelims standard books you have to revise in the proper manner anubhuti right no vandana it will be only in english medium the discussion can be in uh, maybe hindi medium also sometime okay rohit please fill up the counseling form the counseling form that our team has sh uh, shared with you topers notes tarun mishra is asking topers notes topers notes pad sakte hain aapki marzi hai बट एनसीआर के लिए नोट्स टॉपर्स कहाँ बनाते हैं आपको कहाँ पे मिलेंगे नोट्स ऐसे देखिए आप लोग जो पूछते हैं कि टॉपर्स नोट्स पढ़ लेते हैं नोट्स अपने ही काम आते हैं व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ नोट्स मेकिंग टेल मी लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द नोट्स मेकिंग व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ नोट्स मेकिंग सपोज मेरे नोट्स हैं क्या आपके काम आ सकते हैं ऑन आउन अंडरस्टैंडिंग नोट्स शो आर माई ओन अंडरस्टैंडिंग इफ आई हैव वन चैप्टर आई गिव इट टू यू 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 so everyone will write different content in the notes based upon your own understanding so notes have to be your own notes that will be helping you even in the starting of the class only i am saying please keep writing because aapne kuch aur likha hoga aapne kuch aur likha hoga jo aapko pehle se aata hoga aapne wo nahi likha hoga aapne to har kisi ke notes alag hote hain so don't try to follow others notes you can take an idea okay what kind of notes they are making how to make notes maybe you can pick up some content but don't make don't be dependent on others notes follow and make your own notes right so next is we will discuss about notes making for upsc are you interested in this should we go through this notes making for upsc and after this we will go to the current affairs newspaper 
First of all, why not making? Let me ask you, why should we make? Yeah. Okay, tell me, aapko pata hai, aur bataiye. The mold the content into own language. Okay, it is helpful in revision. Yes. Basically, there are multiple books. Like, aapke baas, you have NCRT, and then you have a standard book. Then you have current affairs. Suppose climate change. Climate change, you will read from NCRT, you will read from a standard book, and there will be reports, some latest examples of climate change, impact. So if you have the single note of all this, this, it will be helping you in answer writing. It will help you clear the concept. From the notes, see, why notes marking is more, all the more important is, as you proceed near the exam, you can revise in less time. These are time saving. And most importantly, in the process of notes making, it increases your retention. When you are making your notes, you are applying your thinking, you are applying your eyes, your motor memory, your hand memory. So you are learning from maybe five, six different manner. So through that notes, actually you are retaining more automatically. So it's a very, very powerful way of learning from multiple uh, multiple senses of our body, notes making, right? And you know, if you have the notes of something from your horn hand, it gives confidence. Hata na confidence? Okay. Next is, should we make the notes online or offline? Big question. Like paper pe notes banaye? Or should we make on online? What is your approach? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Basically, I will go for paper mode. Why? Number one, because UPSC exams are still in the pa pen paper mode. So if you make the notes, it will build your habit. Even the practice of the paper, practice of MCQ, should be done in paper pen mode. Do you agree? Number three, from our childhood, we have been habitual of the offline notes. Ho sakta hai, hamare se next wali generation wo online ki habitual ho, especially after the COVID. Unke liye ho sakta hai, ha? Then why more offline notes are important? Because easy to grasp. Like scientifically, if you have the paper in front of you, it is stable. Paper hota hai, it is stable. You can focus, concentrate better. But if there is PDF, you will scroll down. And scrolling down, disturb your concentration. So focus and concentration is better in the paper mode. Right? Now, in the online mode, which note you can make? Current affairs, you can make in the online mode. Why? Because, number one, lot of changes keep happening. Time to time, new development keep coming. So maybe, if you are reading newspaper, copy paste and save the content. Later on, you again refine the content and before the exam, you take a printout. So, lot of changes you will find in the current affairs. Otherwise, for other subject, you should prepare in the hard copy. This is my suggestion, but it will de also depend upon your own preference. There is no hard and fast rule. Some people are comfortable in online mode. The benefit of the online mode is that they are easy to move, especially for the working professionals or maybe even for the college students. It is easy to move. So, the benefit of online notes is especially for those people who can't be at one place, keep changing the place from here to there, so they can save the online because something is better than nothing. Offline notes, they can 
ऑनलाइन नोट्स लेके जा सकते हैं आप आप ट्रेन में हैं आप फ्लाइट में हैं आप वेटिंग मोड में हैं सो यू कैन स्क्रोल एंड यू कैन रीड सो मे बी यू कैन यूटिलाइज एज ए लास्ट रिजोर्ट इफ यू आर ए वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल इफ यू आर ए ट्रेवलिंग पर्सन इफ इवन यू यू पीपल ऑल्सो यू कैन टेक ए पिक्चर ऑफ योर हार्ड कॉपी नोट्स एंड रिवाइज इन द वेटिंग इन द ट्रेवलिंग आप सपोज वन आवर डेली ट्रेवल करते हैं मेट्रो से दिल्ली के अंदर तो आप उसको रिवाइज कीजिए वहाँ से सो यू कैन कन्वर्ट द पेपर नोट्स इन टू ऑनलाइन मोड बाई टेकिंग ए स्कैन ऑफ फोटो राइट लेट मी सी द कमेंट्स ओके एनी क्वेश्चन हियर एनी क्वेश्चन हियर फॉर ऑनलाइन नोट्स मेकिंग यूज द ट्रेडिशनल वर्ड फाइल वर्ड फॉर्मेट बिकॉज इन द वर्ड फॉर्मेट the benefit is you can copy paste the content from anywhere you can even copy paste the link suppose there is a very good analysis some youtube video so you can even use the link here hmm yes you can even paste the image suppose you are having very good image from the newspaper image aap paste kar sakte hain you can highlight the important aspect you can bold italics all of this can be done all of this can be done in the word format this is possible now for the notes making there are some innovative things which you can do first of all make the mind maps mind map should be prepared in the horizontal format take a4 sheet paper horizontal format of a4 sheet and the front side you can use for the static concept and the back side you can use for the current part this approach you can follow front static part ke liye or back current part ke liye right then you you can use multiple colors to make it interesting to make the separate component uh, visible separately hmm taki khud ka padhne ka man bhi kare boring nahi hona chahiye right and uh, apart from mind map you can make your audio notes and video notes like you make reels reels hoti hain video hoti hain so 3 to 5 minute mein if you are some reading something just open the audio recorder or video and make a video i'm telling it very uh, precisely it is interesting how to use this in your suppose you are traveling so you can open your video youtube scroll karne ki jagah pe apni video scroll kijiye <laughs> right and what is the benefit of audio video that you have the particular emotions which you are using when you are uh, making the notes sab aap record kar rahe hote hain to ek particular pitch aap use karte hain you are emphasizing certain words so later on also you can remember ki ha this word i have using because your own voice you can easy easily correlate with that so audio video notes you can follow okay kishor ja very good history ko kaise learn kare sir tarun history go through the ncert 6 to 12 very very important right that is the first step, first thing you can do okay okay any further question anyone okay our speakers will be joining around 1 pm nitin singhania sir he is expected to join around 1 pm and others also you want a break <laughs> how many of you want a break करंट अफेयर्स कब से पढ़ें ओके वेरी गुड करंट अफेयर्स क्वेश्चन
so with respect to current affairs there are many questions which you people are facing which sources to follow how to read newspaper how to read magazine how to prepare the current affairs for upsc how much duration of current affairs we should follow should we make the notes daily of current affairs should i practice the mcqs of uh, current affairs should i do the answer writing on current affairs you have these questions actually yes definitely i'll come to that which you are asking first of all wow how much is the current affairs importance in the exam prelims 40% questions you can find from the current affairs mains 50% questions and interview major part revolves around the current affairs anjali i will come to that okay how to cho choose optional uh, there is one question for history old and new ncert which one you, you suggest you can go through bold, both the ncert old ncert only 11th and 12th you can go the new ncert all 6 to 12 you can go right so current affairs importance is this much now there are so many sources so many sources hindu express economic survey yojana kurukshetra india air book and all of this right so what is the approach you should follow starting from daily newspaper first of all only one newspaper either you can go for hindu or indian express right okay uh after this how much time one hour maximum now in the one hour first only three major news you have to focus don't run behind every news because upsc do not say newspaper is the syllabus syllabus is defined separately the current affair will be helping you only in interlinking the concept so only three news you have to find the major news and how to find these news based upon the syllabus that's why i'm saying go through syllabus go through pvc question that is the best way you can do then just go through the headlines once headlines will help you just give you interlinking what is going on in the india what is going on in the world from the headline only 70% of the news you can understand headlines are so self explanatory right suppose sri lanka news sri lanka may some day uh, some even uh, what is happening some crisis started some uh, protest started sometime they are uh, throwing away the president some way sometime the new president is coming so it's a event 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 so there is a difference you have to find the difference between an event versus news event is something which is a news and issue is sorry event versus issue event versus issue issue is the fundamental topic issue is the fundamental topic 
एग्जाम्पल सपोज दिस ए द प्राइस ऑफ द वेजिटेबल्स आर इंक्रीजिंग दिस इज ए न्यूज और इवेंट बट वट इज द फंडामेंटल टॉपिक द फंडामेंटल टॉपिक इज इन्फ्लेशन इन फैक्ट द फूड इन्फ्लेशन इन इंडिया सो यू हैव टू रीड द फूड इन्फ्लेशन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फूड इन्फ्लेशन हाउ टू मेजर द फूड इन्फ्लेशन what are the causes of food inflation in india what is the government strategy and what are the suggestions what question have come in the upsc previous year, previous year so all of these thing you have to focus this is just a trigger current news is just a trigger for the topic but this topic you have to prepare thoroughly that's why i'm saying only three major news you have to focus like suppose there are uh, 20 issues in india which are in highlight so today you are focusing on three tomorrow you are focusing on three then you are focusing on three like this in one week you can complete all the topic right and rather i will suggest one more thing if you can do read newspaper after three days <laughs> yes means Three year days old news. So that you can, uh, Actually, basi newspaper padiye. Why? Because the fresh newspaper hota hai, usme jada padne ka man karta hai. And you are reading irrelevant things also. Ranveer Kapoor ne kya kiya? Usme aap chale jayenge YouTube pe search karne lagenge. Bhai hua kya tha? Pehle ye to dekh le. Baad mein analysis padenge iska. Usme aa raha hai wo. फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन होना चाहिए कि नहीं होना चाहिए आप उसमें इंटरेस्टेड नहीं है फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन में आप इंटरेस्टेड हैं रणवीर कपूर ने रणवीर सिंह ने किया क्या था जिस चीज के लिए ये न्यूज आई है पहले उसको जाके चेक करते हैं यूट्यूब पे तो आप सेंसेशनलाइजेशन में चले जाते हैं आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो दैट विल नॉट हैपन इफ यू रीड द न्यूज पेपर ऑन ए डेली बेसिस क्योंकि जब तक इशू ओल्ड हो चुकी होगी इतना इंटरेस्ट नहीं रहेगा फिर आपका फोकस रहेगा ओनली ऑन द यूपीएससी and in 3 days suppose there is a topic of say uh, sri lanka so 3 days mein you can read the what is the progression last 3 days mein kya hua suppose aaj president ko overthrow kiya so it will be a big news but exam mein to kuch bhi important nahi hoga uska exam mein kya puchhenge exam in, in the exam they will ask sri lankan crisis impact on the world how we can uh, you know how we can avoid such crisis in india simple abhi kya impact hua future mein kaise isko avoid kar sakte hain india ke andar कितना होगा दे विल नॉट आस्क अबाउट श्रीलंका मच सिमिलरली प्राइस ऑफ टोमेटो आर राइजिंग वेरी फास्ट दे वॉन्ट आस्क वाई टोमेटो प्राइस वर राइजिंग इन ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई ऐसा नहीं पूछेंगे वो दे विल आस्क वट आर द रीजन ऑफ फूड इन्फ्लेशन इन इंडिया वट गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग एंड वट फर्दर कैन बी डन सिंपल सो यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन द इशू सो डेली न्यूज पेपर ओनली दिस मच इज सफिशियंट नाउ कमिंग टू द मंथली मैगजीन monthly magazine follow only one magazine and this should be revised multiple times right this should be revised multiple times and basically monthly magazine is just a compilation of the daily news only it is not that in the monthly magazine they will put something new rather it is just a compilation of whatever is happening in the india throughout the week or th sorry throughout the month Like I'm just showing you our current affairs magazine, which we are issuing. This guy's kind of current affairs we are providing in our 
paid courses. So we are providing it from the Hindu, PIB, Indian Express, and other sources also. So Hindu, PIB, Indian Express. These three are primary source, and we are providing the major news which are important for the examination. Like this is a weekly weekly one. This is a weekly one, right? Week uh, I think week one or week two of the July. Week two of the July, right? So you find here the basic. For example, glacier. The news was glaciers are fast receding in the Dras region of Jammu and Kashmir. This is the news. Now in this news, what is the glacier? We have to understand that what is glacier. Like this is what is glacier. This is important, and this will never be given in the newspaper. Newspaper में वो चीज नहीं देंगे. Am I right? They will not give this in the newspaper. Melting of glacier causes of rapid increase in the melting. This question is being asked in the UPSC. In UPSC, they are asking this kind of question. Right? Effects of melting of glaciers, like deglaciation. Right? Do you know some of the facts about gl uh, glaciation? Uh, glaciation. Then Arctic warming and India. these are all background which we have prepared in our magazine this is not given in the newspaper are you getting so this kind of analysis has to be done suppose this was a news rand panda and the singalala national park right so this is the news context means this is a news which is given in the newspaper in the first rewilding program of red pandas in india darjeeling zoo will release them in singalala national park this is the news only this much is the news given in the in the newspaper now how we have to analyze we have to analyze in a very very detailed manner this is red panda analysis geographical range where it is found what are the threats to the species and uh, there are two separate species right of the red panda uh, red panda versus giant panda how it is different so they will ask the questions like this all these uh, basics then there is a savain south asia wildlife enforcement network singalala national park the importance of singalala national park and because singalala national park is located in eastern himalayas because it is located in eastern himalayas so the importance of eastern himalayas also we have to understand and then this program integrated development of wildlife habitats like everything which is related to the topic and not only this the more species which are in this same category similar category right then the next the next topic is forest conservation rules in the forest conservation rules what are the uh, forest conservation rules the key provisions of the forest conservation rules after this we are looking into the new forest conservation rules how they are violating the forest rights act 2006 what are the major concerns or what are the major criticism right forest rights act because we are comparing with the forest rights act so we should know the forest rights act also so we have to understand this also then forest rights granted under the forest rights act 2006 then role of the gram sabha this question is being asked in the upsc multiple time suppose there is a question on the retail inflation this is the news retail inflation rate continued to remain above 7% this is the news which was i was telling you now you have to know how does the inflation work what is demand full inflation cost push inflation built in inflation you have to understand the basic concept what is the retail inflation what are the inflation targets in india how what is the meaning of headline inflation what is the meaning of uh, you know what are the different types of inflation what is the meaning of shrink inflation shrink inflation then what is the cost push versus demand push inflation so this kind of micro analysis is to be done and this it can be done in the magazine or maybe in the daily news also and but suppose in a newspaper there are th uh, 100 issues so you cannot do the micro analysis of each of the 100 issues that is not suggested and that is not doable this research takes time that's why multi magazines should be studied after proper research because research team apna time lagayega research karne mein so you should wait for the right content to come rather than in a hurry to cover the uh, content you are reading unnecessary useless compilations 
बिकॉज सेम डे में आप कितना समय लगा दोगे आप रिसर्च करने में यू हैव द टाइम लिमिटेशन जस्ट टू प्रोवाइड द कंटेंट एवरी वन इज जस्ट कॉपिंग पेस्टिंग फ्रॉम ईयर एंड देयर विदाउट प्रॉपर लिंकिंग ऑफ द प्रीवियस ईयर विदाउट प्रॉपर एनालाइजिंग वट इज इंपॉर्टेंट वट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट and they are just providing the content on a daily basis so don't run behind daily news analysis compilations because they don't have the proper analysis because they don't have the proper time unke paas time nahi hota utna ki wo usko acche se analyze kar sake then after the monthly magazine comes the government magazines like kurukshetra योजना इन दीज टू मैगजीन्स नंबर वन द एडिटोरियल पेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेवर एवर इग्नोर द एडिटोरियल पेज बिकॉज इन द एडिटोरियल पेज यू विल गेट ए कंप्लीट बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द टॉपिक यू विल फाइंड गुड की वर्ड्स हियर राइट देन in every magazine maximum 2 to 3 articles are important don't run behind every article because these magazines are not for upsc specifically they are the research magazines which are followed by the researchers phd jo apna thesis likh rahe hote for you people maximum 2 to 3 articles are more than important and yes there are some government scheme related pages like 3 to 4 pages where they are giving the details of the go important government scheme in a very colorful manner very beautiful manner so you can read those government schemes they are important for the prelims वो आपके प्रॉब्लम्स के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है आर यू विद मी एवरीवन ऑनलाइन सो यू डोंट हैव टू फॉलो ईच एंड एवरी ईच एंड एवरी पेज ऑफ द कुरुक्षेत्र योजना ओके हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई विच आर्टिकल इज इंपॉर्टेंट मोस्टली इन मेनी केसेस द आर्टिकल नंबर वन एंड टू आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट मोस्टली दे आर वेरी आफ्टर आर्टिकल नंबर वन एंड टू मोस्ट ऑफ द आर्टिकल आर इरेलीवेंट because they are research oriented not upsc oriented right after the kurukshetra magazine next is economic survey economic survey comes somewhere in the month of february 2023 or maybe uh, in subsequent years yes this is important for some data and some analysis but no need to uh, read in detail no need to read in detail you can just attend some classes like we at didemy we provide 8 to 10 classes where we are linking with the previous year question and we are telling what to read for upsc so this much is important budget in the budget only some new schemes see mostly in the budget they are giving some new government schemes so only the new government schemes you can find what are the new government schemes and also not only the new government schemes but also some new terminology they are introducing in the budget new concepts they are introducing in the budget you can do a research on that this thing also we provide through classes only two three classes of budget are sufficient you have to interlink this with the basic concept like what is uh, current account what is capital account what is the meaning of uh, uh, current account deficit what is the meaning of balance of payment so basic concepts of economy you have to interlink with this this is about the current affairs
And Anirudh, Anirudh Singha is asking, economic survey is too tough to understand. You are not supposed to read the economic survey completely unless you have the economics optional. Only and only if you have the economics optional, you should read the economic survey in detail. Otherwise, no need to read the economic survey in detail. Okay, everyone? So after the economic survey and budget, what else? India yearbook. In the year, India yearbook, again, there are some government schemes. There are around 10 topics, around 10 chapters, which are important. Not every chapter is important. So those 10 chapters, maybe you can, uh, we will tell you once it is released. Okay, But uh, otherwise, no need to read every page, every topic. After India Air Book, we have Press Information Bureau, PIB. In the PIB, again, this PIB is the government website where they are giving the information on new government initiatives. And this thing you can read through monthly magazines. Like in our monthly magazine, we are incorporating the PIB news. Most of the monthly magazines, they already cover this part. So monthly magazine already cover this part of the stuff. Are you with me everyone online? Yeah, online no one is on camera. Should I also off my camera? Tell me. Only, only three, four people, they come on the camera after I request them. Otherwise, other people are completely off camera. Out of 66 plus more people on the, on the Zoom, only four, five people are on camera. Yes, Tanya, I can see Tanya, Deepanita, Ritesh, Samiksha, Rana, Abdul, Rohit. What about others? What are you waiting for? Okay, wh what are your further questions? What are your further questions about the current affairs? There's a question about hmm. uh, can you please repeat? Okay, yeah, I got it. So, one of the view, one of the question is, should we n ignore daily current affairs? And only read magazine. I will not say ignore the newspaper, but maybe just 30 minutes you can glance. But because it gives you idea of what is happening. You know, I am myself is the advocate of magazines. I don't run behind the daily newspaper because daily newspaper is more of sensationalization. You can spend three hours, but at the end of three hours, you won't get much of the content for your UPSC. See, our purpose is to clear the exam, not just to read the newspaper three hour, four hour. We sirf utna hi padna hai jitna ki hamare exam mein marks increase kar sakta hai. And we already have so much of content for UPSC to read. Optional hai, basic books hai, revise karna hai, classes attend karni hai. To already hamare paas itna load hota hai. Ab uske baazud bhi agar ham three hours newspaper pe dalte hai, so we are actually compromising on our basic, the core area. The UPSC can be cleared from the core concept. Even the current affair, they are based upon the core concept. They are not in the isolated manner. Suppose inflation. Inflation is the trigger. I mean, if there is a news about the inflation, it is a trigger. But actually the core concept is, what is the retail inflation? How it is calculated? What are the government initiatives? What are the various uh, indexes in the inflation? So core concept to aapke wohi hai, right? So you can go for the daily newspaper only for 30 minutes, that's sufficient. Just glance at a heading. 
how to remember all the current affairs for long time tanya kumari said these all magazine to read no i am saying only the relevant stuff from the magazine you can read not all the magazines right what is the duration for which you should cover so duration simply one year before the prelims aapka prelims agar hai 23 mein so aap kab se cover cover karenge june 22 onwards ya may se kar lijiye bas now some of you will say sir last two years ka current affair cover karna hai bol sakte hain i am telling you 90% content will repeat because issues in india are similar same for last more than 50 years abhi bhi garibi hai abhi bhi communalism hai abhi bhi politician jhoot bolte hain education level abhi bhi almost same hai abhi reading level aap padhenge to wahi hai health status matlab there is a improvement but fundamental issues remain almost same right so you don't have to worry about previous news 90% topic will repeat only 10% will be new and for that no need to go i won't like if you attend summer classes like in our classes we will cover these 10% news which were in news earlier but which are important for the upsc only 10% news from the last two years is important if agar aap koi class attend karenge to wo class mein aapko cover ho jayegi in our classes we are covering those 10% so good afternoon everybody okay so i am aman akash i have uh, secured rank 360 in this recently concluded upsc 2021 and sir wo kahan hai sketch so you all are freshers here like you are going to start the preparation okay thank you sir okay so uh before i take on the questions from you i would like to just share something from my side uh, maybe that will be enough to uh, fulfill all the inquisitive you are having and from there onwards we will be uh, picking up the questions from your end if uh, your matlab the confusion is not very addressed so in this fashion i will be going on okay so little background for me this was my sixth attempt <laughs> two at one attempts too many i keep on saying it I started my preparation in 2014 when I was in college, college third year of Hansraj College, and and I it took me at least like on record eight years and uh, total six attempt. So yeah, uh, the problem is that now you know. In 2014, when I was I was in the college, I wanted to become the youngest civil servant in the country because in 2015 I was underage. I was not even 21, so I was like, okay, in 2016 I will be crossing 21 and I will be giving the examinations and I will clear it. But little did I know that I will be taking six years from there onwards to get through the final holy PDF. Okay, a uh, few things here and there did not work for me. Few things worked, and in UPSC, in order to clear the examination. everything should work in certain capacity at all the level you know the meaning is you have to be average in everything that is all it is needed here if you are very good in one but not so good in other that will pull you down from the final list and this was happening in my case you know in the 2016 and 17 i ended up scoring 161 and 156 in essay this is like one of the highest marks but the problem was that i ended up scoring the lowest in my optional I had mathematics 173, 196, both optional included. So yeah, I was doing fairly well in one part, and then I was underperforming in another part. This should not be there in your preparation. You know, you have to be average in everything. If you are doing this, you will be able to clear this examination because the law of average holds true for all the papers you are having. So if you see this year's marks. I ended up scoring 129 in essay, and then I scored 259 in optional. Now both the marks are average, but it fails me rank. Even in interview, I scored 173, and 
and then 380 NGS. So yes, uh, this is what, what it is needed. I did not score 160 like I was scoring in SA. Then I did not score so pathetic in optional. <laughs> I did well, 259. And then interview marks is good and GS marks is good. So the very first thing to be given a thrust is that you don't have to do the PhD in any particular subject, like be it GS1, GS2, GS3, GS4. You just have to make sure that you are not underperforming in any of the subject. Overperformance will be an uh, incentive for you, like it will benefit you to have an edge over others. But the first motto should be not to underperform in any, any subject. Why I am emphasizing is that once you start preparation, na, your entire focus will be on GS2 and 1. Even if you are reading newspaper, you will be seeing that at the end of the month, you have gathered the articles of GS2 the polity related. It will end it up with the pile of GS2 with no article of GS3, be it economy or disaster management or science, and no articles for the GS1, social issues kind of. So our preparation becomes a little skewed. We just don't know anything. Because once we have been told by others, go through the newspaper. So we go through it. And at the end of the day, we end up getting in the very skewed manner of certain syllabus being overcovered and certain syllabus being undercovered. So, pahala chiz isko dhyan rakhna apne pure preparation mein ki is tarah se nahi hona chahiye. Like ho jata hai, kyunki ap GS3 bilkul kam karte ho, ap economics dekhte nahi ho, kyunki surwaat mein you you are not able to understand the economic uh, the editorial or issues of the newspaper. So start skipping it. And what happens? It becomes a habit. Why I'm putting so much thirst on habit? Let me tell you a story, what happened that. I was attending a coaching, evening May 5.30 to 7.30 was my class. And I developed this habit, you know, 2014 when I was giving, ki I have to attempt in 2016. So I have ample time to just waste on few things. I was serious, but I was like, okay, I have some time. So after the class, I got uh, the mate, my friend, he was also going to appear in 2016. We were like underage that time, but very much enthusiastic to initiate the process. So. So after the class, we used to go and have a tea and look at the people. But we did not recognize anybody. But this was like, OK, ye bhi hai, wo bhi hai, this thing. And then after a year, I started my optional preparation. And in the evening after the class, I used to go to the same tea stall and look at the people. Things were still better. Next year, I cleared prelims. I was about to write mens, but still after. Evening, I used to go to the same tea stall and stand there, look at the people. I was not interested in looking anybody, but this has become the habit for me, you know. And this will become a habit for you too. You will start reading Polity, Lakshmi Gant, first to ten chapters. Then I'm getting bored. Ekhi subject padre, I'm still studying the same subject. Let me switch to the other one. So you will open up the history, Bipin Jandra, let's say. You'll be reading one to eighty-five pages. And once you are done with 1 to 85 pages, oh, thank you. Thank you. And once you are done with 1 to 85 pages, what happens is that you are still bored. Okay, I am covering one particular subject, neglecting others. So you will open up economics. And then you will come back to polity again. And what you will do? Agar is bar I am going to study now. Let me start from the face. So first page to 100 page again. And then after 100 page, you will be switching back to Bipin Chandra, first to 85 page and then economics. So what happens, this becomes a habit. At the end of the game, you have prepared first 10 chapters 17 times, and last two chapters just once. And this becomes a skewed preparation. That is why I'm emphasizing law of average and habit one. Ye starting mein hi aata hai. You don't realize ki kyun ho hai, but ye ho jata hai. So isko dhyan rakhna, you have to keep it in your mind that whatever you are going to do right now, that will become a habit. And you need to be very aware of it so that you can have a flexible approach, okay? So, in these two things, you have to take everything, how to cover NCRT, optional, kya rakhna hai, many people will be able to tell you, but I'm going to use my expertise to say, ki unke saath kaise karte hai? Ki mujhe, despite being a very bright student, mujhe itna time kyu laga tha? To, aap logo ko na lage, okay? My focus is that, you people should not go through this process for such a long time. Just know where one gets hacked up and so that you can uh, uh, take care of those parts. So first is like law of average, second is the habit formation. Just keep in mind. Another problem of the habit formation is that when you are reading something, na, 
you f don't understand our concept what will you do that you will uh, oval it and think that i will be covering in the next next round of revision but what happens is that when you come for the next round of revision you are already sort of times because ek bar you have studied a lot many things now you have to revise everything so you are already running out of time so second time if you come and you see the okay okay this concept i had not covered you will push it further delay it further go okay third time mein main pad lunga and at the end of the day you are going to give the examination and you are not prepared with this concept because once procrastination will occur it will always continue so procrastinate nahi karna like delay nahi karna you don't have to delay anything if you don't know the concept ask your teacher ask your mentor search on google but just clear it then and there because if you keep you if you keep it delayed it will be delayed for for forever so ye bhi ek habit ho jata hai to in cheezon ka bhi dhyan rakhna hai theek hai now coming to the next part main fast ja raha hu kya pace sahi hai na okay look pura gist deta hu i am like if i have to guide amon of 2014 na i'll be telling this thing which i'm going to share with you uh if you look at many toppers jo bolte hain ki coaching is not very needed okay aisa sab koi bolta hai ki coaching is not very needed and it can be done but there is problem with our education system right from the very beginning we have been coached in the same manner bachpan mein paida nahi hue the and we were given the home tutor fir 9 10th mein we were sent to the coaching ki ja ke taiyari karo 10th mein fir uske baad kota jao so achanak se you have not become batman ki sab kuch change ho gaya now yes this is feasible one can clear it but uh, coaching does help on certain segments jo ki batane time people used to skip it kyunki wo itna important nahi dikhta hai uh, i would be highlighting that part ki wo kya hota hai and then fir other parts mein ke kya hona chahiye okay the entire process i will be like usko thoda sa briefly lunga so let's go to that let's say this is your brain na aur ye first stage mein kya hota hai you have many books so everybody knows the book list agar main aap kisi se pooch lo na ki history kya padhna hai to spectrum even if he is not preparing for upsc he will be able to tell it agar geography bolu to people will end up saying jc leong maine kabhi nahi padha many toppers have not studied it but since this thing is being repeated in the market so geography poocho to people will say jc leong polity lakshmikant everybody knows it economics mein class 12th ka ncert bolte hain fir ek do ramesh singh bhi chale ramesh singh something hai na ha wahan chale jate hain but nobody studies that thing to dekho kya hota hai jab first part mein aap aate ho you have all the books magazines yogna kurukshetra everything aur yahan se aap padhna shuru karte ho aur pura data jis tarah se bhar lete ho ye aapka brain matlab pura data dal liya this is called foundation course in coaching term jab aap coaching mein kahin bhi jate ho aapko ye wala cheeze karte hain they teach you something ki okay history mein aise hua tha geography mein aise hua tha aur isko aap ya to khud se padh ke bhi kar sakte ho books se you will be able to collect the data and get into your brain ye first process hota hai aur ye sabke sath hota hai mere sath coaching ke through hua tha like i took the classes because mera background itna acha nahi tha so i needed something और uh, कुछ होते हैं जो बोलते हैं कि मुझे कोचिंग करा था बट आई डिड नॉट लाइक इट सो आई लेफ्ट इट और फिर मैंने बुक से पढ़ा तो प्रोसेस रिमेन्स द सेम आपको फैक्ट अपने ब्रेन में लेना है एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द साइकिल और एक और चीज बिफोर आई गो टू द सेकेंड वन आई वुड लाइक टू एम्फेसाइज इज दैट दिस एग्जामिनेशन इज नॉट वेरी रैंडम लोग बोलते हैं ना कि दिस इज वेरी रैंडम यू पेसी आस्क एनी थिंग अंडर द सन दिस इज वेरी रैंडम डिपेंड्स अ लॉट ऑफ लॉक ऐसा बहुत कुछ बोलते लोग बोलते हैं लोग बट दिस एग्जामिनेशन इज नॉट वेरी रैंडम इट इज वेरी कॉन्स्टेंट यू नो मेनी ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स हैव क्लियर दिस थ्री और फोर टाइम्स देर इज वन फ्रेंड अर्चित ही हैज क्लियर इट थ्री टाइम्स आशीष क्लियर इट टू टाइम्स देर आर मेनी टॉपर्स हुव इम्प्रूव द रैंक्स फ्रॉम फाइव हंड्रेड टू फोर हंड्रेड टू थ्री हंड्रेड टू इवन अंडर हंड्रेड लाइक फोर कंजिकेटिवली ईयर्स दे हैव बीन एबल टू क्लियर दिस एग्जामिनेशन सो देर इज सर्टन पैटर्न इन द एग्जामिनेशन इट इज नॉट वेरी रैंडम इट इज कॉन्स्टेंट one needs to understand those underlying criteria which is, which is happening the underlying criteria is called process you need to know the process and fulfill it once you do it na ye sab kuch easy ho jata hai aur process ke naam par these things have been manifested what newspaper padhna hai ncert karna hai 
एक्चुअली दे आर द नॉट द मीन्स मतलब उसको एंड बना दिया है कि अगर पेपर नहीं पढ़ोगे तो नहीं होगा या एनसीआर नहीं पढ़ोगे तो नहीं होगा दिस थिंग्स हैव बिन टर्न इन टू द एंड इन इट सेल्फ बट बेसिकली द प्रॉब्लम इज दे आर द मीन्स यू पी एस सी हैज आस्ड यू टू नो करेंट अफेयर्स इट हैज नॉट प्रस्क्राइब यू कि कैसे करना है प्रस्क्रिप्शन इज नॉट गिवन दैट यू हैव टू रीड द न्यूज पेपर यू पी एस सी हैज आज यू द अवेयरनेस ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट हैज नॉट आज यू टू रीड लक्ष्मीकांत ठीक है तो दीज आर जस्ट द मीन्स बट इन ऑर्डर टू मेक दिस प्रोडक्ट रिचेबल टू एवरीबडी दे हैव बिन कन्वर्टेड इन टू द एंड जिसे लिए नहीं पढ़ोगे यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू नो द जियोग्राफी दैट इज नॉट द केस इफ यू आर एबल टू रीड सर्टन अदर बुक्स इवन क्लास इलेवेंथ एन सी आर टी दैट विल बी एबल टू सेटिस्फाई योर क्वेस्ट फॉर द नॉलेज फॉर द जियोग्राफी बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू नीड टू नो द कंटेंट मीन्स कैन बी एनी थिंग तो डोंट गेट बॉक डाउन कि मैंने लक्ष्मी बिपिन चंद्र पढ़ लिया आई डिड नॉट स्टडी स्पेक्ट्रम तो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू लूज इन द बैटल दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन नो बडी हैज आस्ट प्रिस्क्राइबली दैट नो बडी हैज प्रिस्क्राइब यू दैट स्पेसिफिकली यू हैव टू रीड स्पेक्ट्रम नो यू नीड टू नो इंडियाज फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल दैट इज द नीड और यह आप किसी भी बुक से पढ़ के जान लो तो दैट विल बी एनफ तो आपको मेन चीज देखना है कि कहाँ पर जाना है मीन्स डिफरेंट होता है हर किसी का समबडी सेज कि आई डिड द मई मतलब मैं क्लासेस में बहुत अच्छा था इनिशियल ईयर से दैट्स वाई आई नो थिंग्स आई डिड नॉट नीड द कोचिंग उनके लिए भी ठीक है जो बोलते थे कि मुझे कोचिंग जैसे आई नीडेड द कोचिंग बिकॉज मेरे उतना अच्छा नहीं था इकोनॉमिक्स आई डिड नॉट नो है ई तो मुझे लेना पड़ा सब कुछ तो मीन्स कैन भी डिफरेंट ओके सबके लिए अलग अलग होते हैं तो जस्ट बी कम्फर्टेबल तो फर्स्ट प्रोसेस ये होगा कि यू हैव टू गेट द डाटा एंड टू योर ब्रेन अब ये क्या होगा ना सेकेंड प्रोसेस में जब आप टेस्ट सीरीज करते हो बीट प्रेलिम्स और बीट मेन्स तो जब आप क्वेश्चन पढ़ते हो ना यू आर नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल इतने सारे डेटा बिकॉज बिकॉज यू हैव स्टडीड अलॉट मेनी थिंग्स बट वेन यू आर सींग द क्वेश्चन यू आर बेसिकली सर्चिंग इन योर ब्रेन वेयर द डेटा इज स्टोर एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड लेटेंस इन टाइम और रिट्रीवल टाइम मेन्स में यू डोंट गेट मच टाइम सेवन मिनट्स टू राइट वन टेन मार्कर और इलेवन मिनट्स टू राइट फिफ्टीन मार्कर ऑन एवरेज यू आर गेटिंग सो मच ऑफ टाइम सो उस समय क्या होगा ना यू नीड टू हैव द डेटा वेरी मच रेडी टू रिट्रीव इट लेटेंसी टाइम बहुत कम होना चाहिए इवन इन द एम सी क्यू टाइप देर विल बी मेनी ऑप्शन विच आर वेरी कन्फ्यूजिंग यू नीड टू हैव योर डेटा वेरी मच क्लियर्ड ताकि वो तुरंत पता कर लेंगे कि ये आंसर है तो वो रिट्रीवल टाइम बहुत शॉर्ट होना चाहिए सो वेन एवर यू आर रीडिंग द टेस्ट सीरीज फिर ये पता कैसे होता है जब आप टेस्ट सीरीज करने लगते हो ना तो दिस डाटा गेट फॉर्मलाइज इस तरह से ब्लॉक में स्टोर होता है कि अच्छा ये टॉपिक इस चैप्टर से है ये टॉपिक इस चैप्टर से है तो देखना आपका रिकॉल पीरियड बहुत स्ट्रांग हो जाएगा मतलब कम हो जाएगा लेटेंसी कम हो जाएगा एंड यू विल हैविंग अ वेरी स्ट्रांग रिकॉल पीरियड मतलब तुरंत याद आ जाएगा ओके दिस वॉज फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट चैप्टर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव नंबर चैप्टर ऑफ लक्ष्मीकांत बिकॉज जो डेटा इस तरह से रैंडमली था नाउ टेस्ट सीरीज हेल्पिंग यू टू मेक इट वेरी रेगुलर इसलिए सबसे ज्यादा टॉप है इस पर एम्फेसाइज करते हैं वेन एवर दे वेन एवर यू विल बी लिसनिंग टू द टॉपर्स ना दे विल बी एम्फेसाइजिंग दैट ज्वाइनिंग टेस्ट सीरीज और राइटिंग टेस्ट इज ए साइन ए कुआन फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सिविल सर्विसेस द रीजन बींग इज दैट यू माइट हैव एनफ नंबर ऑफ डेटा बट इफ यू डोंट हैव इट अरेंज इन योर ब्रेन यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू यूज इट बहुत सारे होते हैं मेनी पीपल दे से दैट आई हैव बिन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द सिविल सर्विसेज फॉर द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स मैंने क्या नहीं पढ़ा था लाइक आई हैव डन लॉट मैनी थिंग्स मैंने आई हैव रेड एवरी थिंग लक्ष्मीकांत मैंने पच्चीस बार पढ़ लिया था बट द प्रॉब्लम इज येस यू हैव रेड लक्ष्मीकांत ट्वेंटी फाइव नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स एंड यू हैव एवरी थिंग इन योर ब्रेन बट द डेटा इज नॉट अरेंज एंड सिंस इट इज नॉट अरेंज यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू ब्रिंग इट आउट ऑन द पेपर और जब नहीं आएगा तो फिर बेनिफिट ही क्या है दिस इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ हैविंग द ब्रेन ना एग्जामिनर विल कम टू नो योर नॉलेज ओनली थ्रू पेपर द मेन्स पेपर विच यू हैव रिटर्न द एंसर्स विल बी एबल टू कम्युनिकेट दैट हाउ मच यू नो और ये एक प्रॉब्लम बताता हूँ कि कैसे होता है जब रिट्रीव नहीं कर पाते हो तो एवरीबडी लेट से द क्वेश्चन इज गिव द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द पीरियड सेवनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन टू सेवनटीन सिक्सटी फोर आप लोग स्टार्ट करो कुछ भी आइडिया है 1757 में कोई बैटल लड़ा गया था प्लस यस गुड 1764 में विच इज द बैटल 1764 बैटल ऑफ बक्सर ठीक है दो बैटल हुए थे प्लासी 
and Buxar. So you will be able to write Battle of Palasi and Battle of Buxar. Here the British has defeated the Bengal Nawab, and in 1764 Buxar they defeated even the Emperor of India. ठीक है तो यहां से ब्रिटिश कैप्चर किए थे इंडिया को मतलब बंगाल को किए थे यू विल बी एबल टू राइट दिस आंसर लेकिन एक में बचपन से यू हैव बीन एबल टू मग अप द थिंग ना फर्स्ट बैटल ऑफ पानीपत कब हुआ था फर्स्ट बैटल ऑफ पानीपत 1526 सेकंड बैटल ऑफ पानीपत 1556 थर्ड बैटल ऑफ पानीपत सेवनटीन जब आप बुक में पढ़ोगे ना तो चैप्टर ऐसे जाएंगे डिस्कशन विल बी ऑफ बिहार एंड बंगाल रीजन और इसमें ये दो बैटल हुए थे पलासी एंड बक्सर फिर आप चैप्टर चेंज करोगे मराठा पढ़ोगे तब 7061 की वहां बात होगी ठीक है 7061 नेक्स्ट चैप्टर में मिलेगा मराठा में देन आप पढ़ोगे कॉलोनाइजेशन में फ्रेंच एंड फ्रांस कॉलोनी एंड ब्रिटिश कॉलोनी दोनों इंडिया में थे बोथ फ्रेंच एंड ब्रिटिश वेर देर इन इंडिया इन कर्नाटिक रीजन एंड दे फाउट वॉर विथ इच अदर and english won the war the britain won the war and this was for the period of 1756 to 1763 aur ye next chapter mein milega now once the question has been asked na discuss the importance of 1757 to 1764 you have to write this point to panipat and carnatic war to to make your answer complete now at the end of the day kya hoga na you will be knowing everything kyunki aapne sare chapters pad liye hain you have you know battle of panipat 1761 Maratha got defeated, so they could not challenge the Britishers. 1756 to 1763, you will be knowing the French got defeated, so they could not challenge the Britishers. And 57 to 1764, Indian Empire got defeated, so nobody could challenge the Britishers. That's why the British rose in India as a ruling entity. Now, problem is that here, the brain was not randomly stored. Because different chapters, you have read different places. But once the question has been asked, na, you have to assimilate everything, and then you have to write. अगर आप सिर्फ 1757, 1764 में Battle of Buxar and Palasi लिख दियो, examiner will think that you know only two things. Okay, but the thing is, you know everything. At the end of the day, you will be knowing Panipat, Carnatic War. But since you could not write on the paper, examiner thinks that you don't know much, and that is how he is not going to give you marks. That is why I am emphasizing on the second process. the test series process and this becomes sine qua non and that is why so many toppers they say that no matter what you do you have to join the test series because this helps in the rearrangement of your data theek hai second process samajh mein aa gaya na to aap log dekhte ho na photos topper mein jo bolte hai ki maine coaching nahi liya lekin har jagah coaching mein unka naam aata hai for the test series kyunki wo test series kiye rehte hain टेस्ट सीरीज के बाद मॉक इंटरव्यू भी देते हैं जैसे लाइक फॉर द इंटरव्यू ना दे गिव द मॉक इंटरव्यूज इन मेनी कोचिंग्स तो वहां से वो डेटा उठाते हैं तो ये होता है सो दे इज नो सेम लाइक एक्सेप्टिंग हमें क्या करना प्रोसेस इजी रखना है वी आर नॉट हेयर टू मेक आवर सेल्फ सेंट कि लास्ट में दिखाएंगे कि हाँ टॉपर बन जाना बोल देना नहीं लिया था ठीक है आई डिड नॉट डू द कोचिंग सब सब बला बला ये सब है तो मैं तो यू जानता था ठीक है वो लास्ट की बात है बट एग्जाम रिजल्ट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट If your resources go for the shortcut, यहाँ पर कुछ वो बड़ी बात नहीं है। We are not going to play the ethics. वो GS4 में चेक हो जाएगा। तो first process is you have to read the books. You have to collect the data. Second process is that you have to arrange the data so that you retrieve it. ये तो अभी examples से समझ में आया ना कि आपको अंत में सब कुछ पता होगा, but वो paper पे आप लिखोगे नहीं, फिर examiner को पता नहीं चलेगा। Now let's say the third, third process. Test series itself become a part source of your study. The test series ke explanation padho ge na, that will be having different concepts than what you have studied in the books, more than what you have studied in the books. Like say books mein, Bipin Chandra mein, bahut saari chijay discuss nahi hai. For example, tribal wars, they have not been discussed at the length. But test series mein wo aayega, kyunki other sources se wo utha ke rakhe hain. Like I said na, you don't have to read Lakshmi Kant. You, no, you need to know the Constitution of India. And constitutional of India के बहुत सारे books हैं, D.D. Basu हैं, Lakshmi Kant खुद हैं। तो test series वाले they what they do, they collect the data from various books और वो आपको test series में पूछते हैं। And since you have studied just one source ना, तो आप other वाले जो जो छूट गए थे, वने whatever the things have been left out, you will be able to read in the explanation part. 
and that will become your source of study too so the void the spaces the gaps which exist in your preparation because it is not feasible to read each and every book so aapko ek hi source rakhna hai bar bar revise karna but whatever the gaps are there which have not been covered in the books which you have studied they will be supplemented by the test series so it is not only going to rearrange the data in your brain it is also going to supplement certain new data which was not there in the brain okay you understood the third process na no? ki test series not only uh, allows you to rearrange the data it also gives you the source of data so it complements your understanding further and now comes the fourth part when you come to the fourth part na yahan par itne sare faltu ke books aap padh le raoge ke here you will come to realization ki mujhe ye book to padhna hi nahi tha aur maine first mein padh liya tha you will come to this realization that in the initial period i studied this book which is not needed because i did not find it useful in any of the processes so now we will be streamlining the data somebody will guide you to read mint न्यूज़पेपर, फिर लास्ट में पता चलेगा नो आई डोंट नीड मिंट मुझे जितना चाहिए था आई एम एबल टू गेट फ्रॉम द हिंदू इट सेल्फ एल से फ्रॉम इंडियन एक्सप्रेस इट तो हिंदू भी नहीं पढ़ूंगा फिर मैंने जिस ही लोग पढ़ा था उसका कुछ काम नहीं है या ये पढ़ा था वो पढ़ा था बहुत सारे बुक्स मैंने ऐसे पढ़े जिसका काम नहीं आया लाइक आई रीड नॉर्मल नॉर्मल लोए फॉर वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री पता नहीं क्यों पढ़ा था तो समबडी टोल्ड मी कि पढ़ लो वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री में नॉर्मल लोए चलता है यू पेस इज नॉट आस्किंग इवन वन क्वेश्चन और एक भी क्वेश्चन आता है Uh, as per your knowledge of everything, you'll be able to attempt that question. One question. So, then I have removed normal logic from here. Many such will be there who will be re-selected. So, in the last, when you know in self that there are so many books, but you are needed to read only this much. So, when last, when toppers come and say that you need to have just limited source and revise it again and again, actually, this is the fourth process: re-selection of the books. Because source is small. Last, when we started, we had only one. So, when we started, we had only one. तो मेरे वे बैग्स दो फुल हैं सूट केस <laughs> लेकिन जब मुझे बोलोगे ना कि जो अच्छी वाली बुक्स है जस्ट पिक इट आउट तो बस इतनी से निकलेगी सो दैट इज वाई एट द एंड पीपल से द टॉपर से दैट यू नीड टू हैव ए वेरी क्रिस्प लिस्ट ऑफ द बुक्स एंड दैट इज एन अप वाई बिकॉज दैट बिकम्स वेरी ऑब्वियस फ्रॉम द फोर्थ प्रोसेस दैट इज सेलेक्शन ऑफ द बुक्स तो मैंने ना पूरा आई आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू द इंटायर थिंग कि यह ऐसा होने वाला है एंड यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ इट लोग जैसे बिट्स एंड पीसेज में आते हैं ना Go for the foundation course, but why? Nobody tells you. Go for the test series. Why? So, we have such a feel on it. Like that, na, ki that is the end. Test series, nahi kya to nahi hoga. Nahi. The problem is that test series is going to help you to retain, rearrange, and get new things. Uske liye zarurat hai. Test series karne se ho jayega. That is not going to be the case. Wo apko is process ko dhyan dena hai. Foundation course nahi bhi karoge to ho jayega. Ho jayega. Once you get the data in your brain. अगर आपको पढ़ के कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है तो फिर यू हैव टू टेक द गाइडेंस ऑफ एनी बडी बी इट योर सीनियर बी इट योर मेंटर कोई भी फैमिली में जो ऑलरेडी सर्विसेज में है और इफ नॉट इन द मार्केट तो कहीं पर भी जाओ मेरे पास फैमिली में कोई नहीं था तो आई नीडेड टू गो टू द मार्केट फिर लो तो करो ऐसा करना पड़ता है सो दैट इज द केस द इंटायर द फोर्ट पिलर इज दैट आप इस वाले को ध्यान रखना एंड हैबिट फॉर्मेशन और जो बोला था मैंने लॉ ऑफ एवरेज इस पर ध्यान रखना है This is all it is needed in the entire journey. जितने भी determination, dedication, सब कुछ है ना वो इसमें implicitly आ जाएगा Because to keep on this process again and again on a loop, you will be needing everything, motivation, uh, determination, जितने भी चीज़ें आज जो भी बोलते हैं ना फालतू के वो सब इसी के लिए होते हैं तो दैट इज़ द प्रोसेस द एंटायर प्रोसेस एंड पीपल आर देयर टू गाइड यू तो आप बेनिफिट लो मतलब उनसे पूछो जानो और दिस एग्जामिनेशन इज नॉट वेरी रैंडम ये बहुत ही स्ट्रीम लाइंड है सो समबडी कैच इज इट ना कि हाँ ये यही प्रोसेस ऐसे ही करना है ही इज गोइंग टू क्लियर इट अगेन एंड अगेन इन माई टोटल सिक्स अटेम्प्ट आई हैव रिटर्न मीन्स ऑल द सिक्स टाइम्स आई हैव क्लियर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑल द सिक्स टाइम्स वाई बिकॉज आई न्यू हाउ टू क्लियर द प्रॉब्लम्स इन द वेरी फर्स्ट गो फर्स्ट टू प्रोसेस से ही कंप्लीट हो गया था बुक्स और एंड टेस्ट सीरीज है तो वंस यू गेट द हैंग ऑफ एनी थिंग इट इज़ नॉट वेरी रैंडम लास्ट सिक्स ईयर्स में जब किसी से पूछोगे पीपल विल से दैट यू पी एस सी हैज गॉन क्रेजी आस्किंग अ रैंडम रैंडम क्वेश्चन हेयर एंड देयर 
बट मेरा रिजल्ट कॉन्स्टेंट रहा है बिकॉज द अंडरलाइन पैटर्न ऑफ द यू पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन हैज नॉट चेंज और सोर्सेस और जो कमिटमेंट होता है टू नो द कंस्टिट्यूशन इज स्टिल रिमेन्स द सेम तो उनको आप अगर जान लोगे प्रोसेस मतलब सोर्स भले ही चेंज हो जाए लाइक पीपल्स है ना कि बिपिन चंद्रा से कुछ नहीं आता स्पेक्ट्रम से कुछ नहीं आता बट इफ यू नो इंडियन फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल फ्रॉम एनी बुक्स दैट विल बी एनफ टू अटेम्प द क्वेश्चन वो चाहे उससे आए या ना आए तो बस उसको जानना है तो यू पी एस सी रियली हैज़ नॉट गॉन रैंडम जस्ट यू नीड टू बी लिटिल स्मार्ट कि जो उसने सिलेबस में पूछा था यू हैव टू नो इट तो उस पर ध्यान देना है ठीक है बाकी के प्रोसेस पर ध्यान देना है लाइक द टेस्ट सीरीज क्यों करते हैं इसको क्यों करना होता है वंस यू स्टार्ट द क्लासेस ना लेस यू ज्वाइन एनी फाउंडेशन कोर्स तो आप घर पर आके यू रिवाइज दैट दैट थिंग अगर आप घर पर आके रिवाइज नहीं किए तो यू वन बी रिमेंबर यू वन बी रिमेंबर यू वन बी रिमेंबरिंग इट आफ्टर सेवन डेज और फिर वो नील बटे सनाटा हो जाएगा लाइक यू दर इज नो वैल्यू ऑफ दैट थिंग्स आपने बस नोटबुक में लिख लिया आपको कुछ याद नहीं आने वाला है सात दिनों के बाद तो आप जितना पढ़े हो कोचिंग से रिवाइज करो और ये दोनों प्रोसेस को साइमिलटेनियसली रखो इसमें क्या होता है ना वी फील वेरी हेजिडेंट टू अप्रोच टेस्ट सीरीज हमें लगता है ना कि बहुत ज़्यादा जब हम वेल प्रिपेयर हो जाएंगे तब जाके टेस्ट सीरीज करेंगे या आंसर राइटिंग करेंगे नो जस्ट बी रूदलेस क्योंकि दोनों साथ में होने वाले हैं जब आप आंसर्स लिखोगे ना आपका रिवीजन बहुत स्ट्रांग होगा आपको चीज़ें बहुत याद रहेंगे तो जस्ट बी रूथलेस आप आंसर लिखो हाँ एक दो महीने बाद स्टार्ट करोगे एटलीस्ट थोड़ा सा कंटेंट हो जाए नहीं तो अभी फर्स्ट डे में यू विल बी ओवर जैसे अभी बक्सर और पलासी में यू वन बी एबल टू अप्रिसिएट पानीपत एंड कर्नाटिक वार इफ़ यू डोंट नो दैम तो शुरुआत में यू नीड टू हैव ए लिटिल बिट ऑफ कंटेंट बट थोड़ा सा एक प्राइमरी बेस बन जाएगा ना जस्ट गो फॉर राइटिंग एंसर्स जस्ट गो फॉर अटेम्प्टिंग एम और इसमें रूथलेस रहना चाहे तीस आ जाए चाहे चालीस आ जाए वेन आई स्टार्टेड द टेस्ट सीरीज इन फर्स्ट टेस्ट ऑफ द प्रिलियम्स आई स्कोर्ड फिफ्टी सेवन एंड सेकेंड टेस्ट आई स्कोर्ड फोर्टी थ्री ऐसा हालत होता है सबके साथ होता है सो यू आर गोइंग टू फेस इट टू बट गिव अप नहीं मारना है जो वहाँ गिव अप मार दिया ना कि जस्ट आई एम नॉट सो प्रिपेयर लेट मी जस्ट पोस्टपोन इट इट विल बिकम अबिट और फिर आप पोस्टपोनमेंट में चले जाओगे तो कोई बात नहीं है वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी टेस्टेड बाई यू पी एस सी इन द इनिशियल स्टेज सो लेट्स बी टेस्टेड ऑन बाई एवरी बॉडी एंड गेट प्रिपेयर फॉर द फाइनल डेट है तो इन चीज़ों को ध्यान रखना है बाकी आई हैव बिन टोल्ड कि आपको एन सी आर टी कैसे पढ़ना है ऑप्शनल कैसे लेना है अप्रोच कैसे करना है दिस थिंग्स हैव बिन टोल्ड सो दे इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ रिपीटिंग द सेम थिंग अगेन एंड अगेन क्योंकि एट द एंड ऑफ द डे सोर्सेज डज नॉट मैटर वट इज़ द एंड रिजल्ट कि क्या करना था वो मैटर करता है तो चाहे आप मुझसे वही चीज़ें पूछो मैं कुछ और बता दूंगा किसी और से पूछो वो कुछ और बता देगा बट द द थिंग इज यू नीड टू नो द बेसिक्स ऑफ एवरी सब्जेक्ट एंड दैट इज वाई एन सी आर टी कम्स इन टू प्ले बिकॉज वहाँ पर ही बेसिक्स मिलता है ठीक है इतना तक तो हो गया आई थिंक आई शुड टेक द क्वेश्चन के आगे कुछ और भी बता सकता हूँ मैं आगे ऑप्शंस मिक्स हैं ओके 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 नहीं ठीक ओके कंप्यूटर चेंज करना ओके सो हेलो 
this is a good one okay so optional selection i'm going to discuss it because this was one of the reason i was not able to clear in the very first few attempts and i went up to the six attempt because of my optional so it becomes sine equal to none again main bata raha hu kaise kitna pathetic hala tha 173 in 2016 this was 80 and 193 196 in 2017 and 236 in 2018 196 in 2019 and i was like enough to fir maine change kiya i was with the mathematics first four attempts i went with mathematics and the last two attempt i went with sociology यहाँ पर आई स्कोर इवन लेस देन वॉट आई वॉज स्कोरिंग इन दीज इयर्स वन सिक्सटी नाइन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी नाइन्टी नाइन सेवेंटी एंड देन आई स्कोर टू फिफ्टी नाइन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड वन थर्टी फाइव ऑप्शनल प्लेस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग यू इन द लिस्ट क्योंकि ये अपना एक्सपर्टीज होता है यू हैव टू डू वेरी वेल इन दिस इन दिस वन एंड प्रॉब्लम इज एवरीबडी इज गुड एनफ टू क्लियर दिस एग्जामिनेशन समबडी गोज टू फिफ्थ अटेम्प्ट सिक्स अटेम्प्ट ना द वन कॉमन थिंग विल बी दैट दे हैड मेस्ड अप देर ऑप्शन लाइक टेक एनी टॉपर इवन द अनुदीप दूर सेटी सर वॉज अर टॉपर इन टू उनका भी ऑप्शनल मेस्डअप था पॉप एट से ही चेंज टू द एंथ्रोपोलॉजी देर इज वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड दिस ईयर Like uh, Ankita Mishra, she won 169 rank. She also changed her optional. I have also changed my optional. There are other toppers too who are repeaters. They also change their optionals. So, एक तो जो first second attempts में जो निकालते हैं ना, they are not very prodigy. ऐसा नहीं कि they are super talented. No, they have been guided very well. उनको family में कोई था या उनके college में कोई था या they went to somebody like mentors जो personally available हैं. मैं वन ऑफ द बिग कोचिंग में चला गया एंड आई आज ना पहला क्वेश्चन यही था कि सर आई एम लिसनिंग दैट द ऑप्शनल इज गोइंग टू बी स्क्रैप्ड इट वाज इन 2014 आई वेंट टू द कोचिंग एंड आई सेड सर ऑप्शनल इज गोइंग टू बी स्क्रैप्ड सो व्हाट शुड आई डू तो ही वाज लाइक ही वाज लाइक कि जीएस तो स्क्रैप नहीं हो रहा ना जस्ट डू द कोचिंग ऑफ जी दिस वॉज द एडवाइस एंड आई टूक इट क्योंकि बोल दिया तो आई वेंट विद द जी क्लास टू थाउजेंड एंड इन टू आई वेंट विद द ऑप्शनल क्लास and that was the achilles heel for me kyunki mujhe kisi ne guide nahi kiya tha it is very much important to understand what is your optional because this is going to play the role of 500 marks or optional mein you can easily score 50% of the marks like 250 to laad ho gaya but in gs you won't be able to score 50% like kitna bhi koshish karo you'll be like 100 100 100 100 out of 1000 you will be scoring 400 wo bahut zyada ho jayega 400 bhi तो इट बिकम्स वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गो फॉर इट एंड जो भी रिपीटर्स होते हैं इनका ये इशू होता है नाउ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बी वेरी आइडियलिस्ट कि इंटरेस्ट है तो लेना आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू दैट आई विल बी वेरी ब्रूटल पहला होता है देर आर फ्यू ऑप्शन विच आर वेरी स्कोरिंग और उससे जाना है ठीक है अब मैथ्स भी बहुत स्कोरिंग है एंथ्रोपोलॉजी भी स्कोरिंग है सोशोलॉजी एवरेज स्कोरिंग है बहुत सारे ऐसे सब्जेक्ट्स हैं बट यू हैव नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रेंड कि कैसा चल रहा है अभी तो अभी मेरे को ना पिंच ऑफ सॉल्ट से लेना मतलब इतना फेस वैल्यू का मत ले लेना वट एवर आई एम गोइंग टू से दैट विल बी माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस और फिर मैं अपना वो हटा के फिर न्यूट्रल करके बोलूँगा कि कैसा चल रहा है ठीक है तो वेन आई चेंज माई ऑप्शनल द सेकेंड टाइम वेन आई वॉज गोइंग फॉर द सोशोलॉजी आई वॉज नॉट बॉर्डर अबाउट कि मुझे इंटरेस्ट है कि नहीं है I was just messed up with my marks in these attempts. तो मुझे था कि बस मुझे marks चाहिए यार मैं बाद में देखूंगा कि क्या है I just need to 50 marks और जो optional मुझे ये देगा आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इट मेरा ये वाला मोटिवेशन था नाउ सोशोलॉजी फॉर मी वॉज दैट इट गिव्स यू द एवरेज मार्क्स टू फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी आराम से आएगा अभी डिफिकल्ट हो गया क्योंकि उन्होंने स्केलिंग पूरा डाउन कर दिया पहले ऑप्शनल में तीन सौ आ जाते थे पीपल यूज टू स्कोर थ्री हंड्रेड इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एटीन नॉट एनी मोर ना द टॉपर इवन दे आर गेटिंग फोल्डेड एट टू एटी टू सेवेंटी तो पूरा स्केल डाउन हो चुका है 
सो टू सिक्सटी डज नॉट लुक सो गुड हेयर बट ये लेट मी टेल यू अगर टू थाउजेंड एटीन की बात होती तो ये टू नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी फाइव के अराउंड होता थोड़ा स्केलिंग हो गया नीचे चला गया तो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू हैव टू सिक्सटी टू टू फिफ्टी ताकि मैं लिस्ट में आ जाऊँ सो माई फर्स्ट मोटिवेशन वॉज टू गो थ्रू द सिलेबस ऑफ एवरी सब्जेक्ट सो आई वेंट विद द एंथ्रोपोलॉजी आई वेंट विद द सोशोलॉजी ह्यूमैनिटीज में क्या होता है ना देर इज अ इंटर लिंकेज विद द जी एस सो वट एवर यू रीड इट री इनफोर्स वॉट यू हैव स्टडीड इन द जी एस एंड इट गेट्स री इनफोर्स अगेन वेन यू आर रीडिंग द ऑप्शनल चाहे पॉलिटिकल साइंस इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन ले लो सो यू हैव एन एफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द जी एस टू इफ यू टेक द सोशोलॉजी यू विल हैव द एन एफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द सोशल इशूज ऑफ पेपर वन गवर्नेंस ऑफ पेपर टू एंड एथिक्स ऑफ जी एस फोर ऐसे था तो मुझे इस तरह से पहले था कि आई एम गोइंग टू टेक समथिंग विच इज नॉट वेरी सेफ और सोबर बट ये ब्लेंडर हुआ बिकॉज वाई हंड्रेड ऑफ स्कोर इन वन सिक्सटी नाइन तो मेरा जो थिंकिंग प्रोसेस था ना कि सोशोलॉजी इज गोइंग टू बी सेफ नो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी सेफ एंटेल यू डोंट रीड इट यू डोंट कंप्लीट द प्रोसेस नथिंग इज सेफ तो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एम्फेसाइज जो ये है फर्स्ट पॉइंट कैसा कुछ होता ही नहीं है पॉइंट ठीक है There is no first criteria or second criteria. They all will be very relative. आपको कौन सा एफर्ट डालता है आप किस स्टेज पर हो उसे डिपेंड करता है तो आपको साइमल्टेनियसली सबको जानना है इसमें कोई फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ नहीं होगा तो मेरा प्रोसेस में यह था कि ऑप्शनल विच इज डूइंग गुड जो एवर ग्रीन हो इसमें बहुत सारे ट्रिक होते हैं जैसे आ, लोग जाते हैं जोग्राफी है पबेड है सोशोलॉजी एंथ्रोपोलॉजी सब एवर ग्रीन है सब अच्छा करते हैं एवरीबडी इज डूइंग गुड साइंस में थोड़ा सा ट्रिकी होता है वेन यू टेक द मैथमेटिक्स और मैकेनिकल फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री उसमें क्या होता है ना यू हैव टू डिवोट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम जैसे मैथ्स होता था यू हैव टू डिवोट लाइक वन ईयर फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इफ यू डोंट डिवोट लेस लेस देन वन ईयर दैट विल बी डिफिकल्ट तभी मैनेज होगा इफ यू आर आई आई टी एन तो आपने ऑलरेडी इन चीज़ों को पढ़ लिया था ठीक से तब वो मैनेज कर पाओगे एक साल के अंदर में नहीं तो यू हैव टू गिव वन ईयर फॉर मैथमेटिक्स ब्रूटली ऑनेस्ट ऐसा करना पड़ेगा तो इन चीज़ों को रखना आता पहले ध्यान में कि आपको करना क्या है कि ऑप्शनल विच इज एवर ग्रीन जो जिसके बारे में सबको नॉलेज है केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स ओनली फ्यू पीपल नो और बहुत फ्यू लिमिटेड सोर्सेज भी अवेलेबल हैं ओनली लिमिटेड पीपल आर दिया तो अगर आपको रेस में जाना है आपकी बैकग्राउंड स्ट्रॉन्ग है फॉर फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथमेटिक्स अगर आप उस बैकग्राउंड से हो सो प्लीज डोंट आस्क मी द क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ मैं भी बोलूंगा पूछने के लिए उसके बाद हम स्टार्ट करेंगे तो वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट कि आपको ये रखना है कि जो ऑप्शनल अभी मार्केट में अच्छा कर रहा है आपको उसको पहले जानना है यू गो थ्रू तो उसके लिए करना क्या होगा यू गो थ्रू द सिलेबस सिलेबस के थ्रू जाओ और पता करो कि यू आर कंफर्टेबल इन नोइंग द वर्ड्स कि समझ में आ रहा है कि क्या बोल रहा है कि क्या नहीं बोल रहा है इफ यू आर एबल टू हैव द हैंग ऑफ इट ना तो ये काफ़ी हेल्प कर देगा जैसे ही आप सिलेबस पढ़ोगे दैट विल हैव गिव यू अ टोटल अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि वेदर यू आर कंफर्टेबल इन इट और नॉट सेकेंड इज द लेंथ ऑफ द सिलेबस मैथमेटिक्स टेक्स वन ईयर सो आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू स्विच फ्रॉम इट I open political science and international relation और मैंने कहा उसको बंद कर <laughs> because that is still is very lengthy तो मुझे ऐसा था ना कि मुझे एक लेंदी छोड़ के दूसरे लेंदी बने जाना है आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्विच टू समथिंग विच इज़ वेरी क्रिस्प तो फिर मैंने सोशोलॉजी पिकअप कर लिया आई वॉज ऑल्सो थिंक यू ऑफ द एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बट उसमें भी कैच है वॉट इज द सेकेंड कैच सोशोलॉजी एंथ्रोपोलॉजी आर ईजी ईजी टू रीड बट डिफिकल्ट टू राइट वो देखने में उनका सोर्स इतना है लेकिन एट द एंड ऑफ द जब आप एंसर्स लिखने लगोगे टेस्ट सीरीज के साथ कॉम्प्लीमेंट कर दोगे तो वो वापस उतना ही हो जाएगा तो एक वही है कि देर इज़ नो हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल कि जो मतलब परफेक्ट रूल है ना ऐसे कुछ होता ही नहीं है देर इज़ ऑलवेज ए कैच पॉलिटिकल साइंस शुरुआत में इतना मोटा लगा तो आई वे लाइक इट थ्रू इट नहीं होगा मेरे से बट आई एंडेड अप टेकिंग सोशोलॉजी और लास्ट में मेरे भी फिर इतनी ही बुक्स हो गए बिकॉज सोशोलॉजी को आप पढ़ने में आपको बस इतना ही सोर्स है बट इन ऑर्डर टू राइट इट बिकॉज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर लाइक जी एस क्वेश्चन बट यू नीड टू ब्रिंग सोशोलॉजिकल टर्म्स तो जब वैसे प्रिपेयर करोगे आपका फिर बुक लिस्ट इतना बड़ा हो जाएगा सो दे इज ऑलवेज ए कैच तो ऐसा कुछ होता नहीं है बट फॉर द सेक ऑफ डी गिविंग वन पॉइंट दैट इज द लेंथ ऑफ सिलेबस इफ यू आर कम्फर्टेबल विद द लेंथ ऑफ सिलेबस जैसे मैथ्स एक साल लेगा फिजिक्स सात आठ महीने लेंगे फिलोसफी तीन महीने में टिका देते हैं खत्म जाओ 
लेकिन खुद से भी पढ़ना पड़ता है तो फिर खुद से पढ़ोगे तो दैट विल बिकम सेवन मंथ्स अगेन तो उन चीज़ों का ध्यान रखना है कि आपको चाहिए कितना तीन महीना में कोई आपको पढ़ा दिया एंड देन यू आर एबल टू सेल्फ स्टडी इट देन गो विद द फिलोसफी गो विद सोशोलॉजी बट इफ यू वॉन्ट समबडी टू टीच यू एवरी और उस प्रोसेस में यू वॉन्ट थिंग्स टू बी गेट कम्प्लीटेड तो गो विद अदर ऑप्शन ठीक है थर्ड वाला जो इंटरेस्ट बट ये नंबरिंग नहीं दिया मैंने इंटरेस्ट फर्स्ट पे भी होगा इफ यू डोंट हैव इंटरेस्ट इन मैथ्स ना तो लेके फायदा ही नहीं है यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू रीड इट इफ यू डोंट हैव इंटरेस्ट इन साइकोलॉजी तो क्यों लेने वाले हो इफ यू डोंट हैव इंटरेस्ट इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी लुक ऑप्शनल इज लाइक एक्सपीरियंस देखा है किसी ने द टी वी सीरीज वेब सीरीज जो आया था यूट्यूब पर ऑप्शनल इज लाइक ए गर्लफ्रेंड बॉयफ्रेंड यू हैव टू बी विद डेम ऑल द टाइम छः साल तक कोई ना कोई तो रहेगा ही तो वैसे ही रखना है कि यू हैव टू कमिट टू द थिंग्स और जितना भी करो जीएस के बहुत सारे सोर्सेस मार्केट में हैं ऑप्शनल के भी हैं और उसके पढ़ाई के लिए बहुत टाइम डिवोट करना पड़ेगा लाइक इवन एट द एंड ऑफ द गेम ना इन द एंटायर डे यू हैव टू डिवोट थ्री टू फोर आवर्स टू द ऑप्शनल वो ऐसा आने लगेगा तो इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी द इक्वल पार्टनर इवन विद द थाउजेंड वर्ड्स ऑफ द जी एस ऑप्शनल ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड इज इक्वल क्योंकि आप मैच करके देखो एक हज़ार में चार सौ स्कोर करोगे एंड फाइव हंड्रेड में तीन सौ स्कोर करोगे तो रिलेटिव देख लो कौन अच्छा करता है तो यू नीड टू डू गुड इन द ऑप्शनल तो इंटरेस्ट तो होना चाहिए अब क्या होता है ना कि कभी कभी इंटरेस्ट नहीं भी नहीं भी हो तो हम इंटरेस्ट जगा लेते हैं लाइक आई टू सोशोलॉजी कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं था उस इंटरेस्ट था कि मार्क्स ला दो बस सॉरी सोशोलॉजी इट इज लाइक अब क्या बताऊँ इसमें वही सब फैमिली है पॉलिटिक्स है यू विल बी हैविंग द वर्क द फॉर्मल इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर वर्क इमरजेंस ऑफ द सोशोलॉजी देन कास्ट सिस्टम क्लास सिस्टम रिलीजन रीजन रीजनलिज्म ये सब आएंगे सब ठीक है तो uh, ये सब है यू नीड टू गो थ्रू द सिलेबस तो पहला पहला पॉइंट क्या होगा कि जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड कि मार्केट में कौन से ऑप्शन चलते हैं क्या क्या है दूसरा है गो थ्रू द सिलेबस सिलेबस से आपको आइडिया लगेगा कि ये चीज़ें मुझे अच्छी लगती है आई शुड गिव ए ट्राई तीसरा है लेंथ ऑफ द सिलेबस मतलब सिलेबस में ही वही सेकेंड पॉइंट में आ जाएगा कि सिलेबस में ही देख के पता चल जाएगा कब तक होना है तीसरा कि वेदर यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन नॉट अगर इंटरेस्ट है तो बहुत बढ़िया नहीं है तो फिर जगा लो और नहीं तो फिर छोड़ दो दैट इज़ ऑल द थिंग्स नीडेड या चौथा अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ रिसोर्सेस एंड ये फर्स्ट भी होगा सोशोलॉजी में मैं गया था इसलिए बिकॉज देर वॉज ऑल्सो अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ रिसोर्स एवरीबडी नोज कि कहाँ से पढ़ना है सोशोलॉजी तो मैं गया था जियोग्राफी में भी एवरीबडी नोज कि कहाँ से पढ़ना है जियोग्राफी इसके टीचर्स भी बहुत ही ज़्यादा अवेलेबल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी में भी पीपल नो कि क्या है पोलिटिकल साइंस इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन में भी पता है कहाँ से पढ़ना है टीचर्स कहाँ हैं तो इनके बहुत सारे अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेज हैं तो एक ये भी क्राइटेरिया है जब मैंने मैथ्स टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन में लिया था ना तो एक ही कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट था और वो भी उतना नहीं था हेल्पफुल तो आपके पास डाइवर्सिफाई करने के लिए कुछ है ही नहीं जैसे वो कोचिंग में ना दो टॉपिक पढ़ाते नहीं थे स्टार्टिंग एंड फ्लूड और वहीं मुझे मैं जानता नहीं था क्योंकि आई डिड द ऑनर्स इन मैथमेटिक्स तो वो मेरे टॉपिक सही नहीं सिलेबस में दोज हु हैव डन द इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम आई और ऐसे नॉर्मली उन्होंने ये टॉपिक्स पढ़ा था लेकिन मैंने नहीं पढ़ा था और कोचिंग वाले ने स्किप कर गया अब आई डिड नॉट हैव एनी अदर अल्टरनेटिव फॉर दैट क्योंकि और मार्केट में कोई अवेलेबल है भी नहीं और खुद से पढ़ के कुछ समझ में आने से रहा तो दिस बिकम्स ऑल्सो वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट कि कौन आपको क्रक्स नोट्स दे पाता है कौन सब कुछ सिंप्लीफाई कर देता है बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आपको यहाँ पर थेसिस क्रिएट नहीं करना है आपको बस चीज़ें पढ़ के ब्रेन में लाना है और रिप्रेजेंट करना है टेस्ट सीरीज में द प्रोसेस आई सेड ना तो आपको जरूरत नहीं है कि यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर एवरी नोट्स नो इफ समबडी हैज प्रिपेयर इट रीड इट गेट द डेटा इन द ब्रेन री अरेंज इट एंड राइट इन द पेपर दैट इज ऑल नीडेड तो आपको एफर्ट नहीं लगाना है कि पूरा प्रोसेस क्रिएट किया जाए तो इफ समबडी इज एबल टू गिव यू क्रक्स नोट्स एबल टू गिव यू दिन क्लास नोट्स एबल टू टीच यू इन द क्लास जस्ट गो फॉर इट ऐसे ऑप्शन तो मेरे तरह से ये है ये चार पॉइंट है चारों रिलेटिव से कोई फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ नहीं है वेरी फर्स्ट इज दैट ऑप्शनल विच वॉज डूइंग गुड फॉर द मार्केट सोशोलॉजी वॉज एवर ग्रीन फॉर मी एंथ्रोपोलॉजी वॉज एवर ग्रीन पोलिटिकल साइंस जोग्राफी पॉबैट सब इसमें मैंने फिर गया सिलेबस में कौन सा छोटा है आई रिजेक्टेड पोलिटिकल साइंस क्योंकि मुझे बड़ा लगा लेकिन लास्ट में मुझे लगा कि सोशोलॉजी भी इतना ही बड़ा था तो दैट वॉज अन अदर थिंग थर्ड सिलेबस पढ़ के पता लगेगा कि कितने महीने में कवर हो रहा है फोर्थ इंटरेस्ट है कि नहीं हो रहा है 
और फिफ्थ अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेस है कि नहीं ऑन बेस्ड ऑन दिस फाइव क्राइटेरिया जस्ट ब्रिंग आउट कि आपके लिए कौन सूटेबल है नो बडी कैन हैंड होल्ड ना अगर आप फोर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन अमन को मैं खुद बोलूँ ना कि मैथमेटिक्स मतलब नहीं होगा तेरे से बोले क्या मजा कर हट बिकॉज मैथमेटिक्स आवा तो ऑनर्स इन मैथमेटिक्स फॉर्म आंसर आज जस्ट को नाइन्टी परसेंट इन माई ग्रेजुएशन सो आई मैं लाइक क्यों नहीं होगा मेरे से मैथ्स के क्वेश्चन भी हाँ सिक्स इसको भी कर लेना एक क्वेश्चन पेपर प्रीवियस ईयर्स के क्वेश्चन पेपर खोल के देख लेना लाइक सोशियोलॉजी एंथ्रोपोलॉजी पॉलिटिकल साइंस जो भी आपको मन कर रहा है ना जस्ट सिलेबस पढ़ने के बाद क्वेश्चन खोल के देखो और उसे आइडिया लग जाएगा कि सिलेबस से ही ये क्वेश्चंस आए थे कि नहीं आए थे उतने से ही आपको फील गुड या फील बैड आने लगेगा कि मेरे लिए है कि नहीं है ठीक है तो एक चीज़ इसको रखना है कि क्या करते हैं एक और क्राइटेरिया जो मैं बोलना नहीं चाहता हूँ लेकिन बोलता हूँ आप लोग लेना मत लेना वो थोड़ा सा रॉन्ग होता है समबडी गाइड्स यू ना कि डू द जी एस जी एस पढ़ो और आपको जो सब्जेक्ट में इंटरेस्ट आने लगे टेक दैट एज एन ऑप्शनल मतलब जी एस में आप जोग्राफी अच्छा लगने लगा तो गो फॉर द ऑप्शनल नहीं इट डज नॉट हेल्प क्योंकि ऑप्शनल और जी एस का टोन बिल्कुल अलग है आप जी एस टू पढ़ाऊँगा ना एंड फिर पॉलिटिकल साइंस इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन का सिलेबस दिखा दूंगा जमीन आसमान का अंतर है सोशल इशूज जो पेपर वन में है यस ओके 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 आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू टेल दैट देर इज नो को रिलेशन विज ए विज ऑप्शनल एंड जी एस इफ आई एम आस्किंग यू टू चूज एन ऑप्शनल बाई रीडिंग जी एस एंड थिंक वेयर यू आर इंटरेस्टेड लाइक यू टेक द जी एस क्लासेस एंड फील वेयर यू हैव द इंटरेस्ट एंड देन गो फॉर द ऑप्शनल ऑफ द सेम सो इन दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प यू मच वाई बिकॉज द टोन ऑफ द जी एस एंड ऑप्शनल आर वेरी डिफरेंट सो इफ यू आर रीडिंग द जी एस वन सोशल इशूज आर देयर एंड सोशोलॉजी एज एन ऑप्शनल इज देयर बट इफ यू मैच बोथ ना देर इज नो को रिलेशन टोन इज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट जी एस टू जो है पोलिटिकल साइंस इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन इज नॉट हैविंग अ टोन विथ इच अदर एज एन ऑप्शनल एंड एज ए जी एस देर आर लॉट मेनी डिफरेंसेज अप्रोच इज डिफरेंट यू हैव टू गो थ्रू द थिंकर्स इकोनॉमिस्ट पोलिटिकल साइंटिस्ट एंड हेयर इन ए वेरी लेम टर्म्स इन ए वेरी जनरल टर्म्स सो दैट विल बिकम अ वेरी ट्रेकिंग द प्रॉब्लम हैपन विद मी इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन आई वॉज ऑल्सो थिंकिंग बिटवीन सोशोलॉजी एंड मैथमेटिक्स and one of the finest sir came and he is taught the social issues and i was like okay done i am not going with the sociology because i am not interested this was the flawed <laughs> this is like a selling technique of the mattress they ask you to lie down for 3 minutes and take you home in 3 minutes you cannot judge the quality of the mattress so there is a trick in the same way if i tell you to go through the gs to understand what you are interested in this will become a tricky spending one hour with one subject and spending one year with sub subject is completely two different ball you won't be able to gauge the gravity of it so this method of reading gs first and then going for the optional i will not suggest and that's why i'm not listing here just don't do it it won't help you won't be able to appreciate the beauty of any optional because of it you will be feeling okay i just love geography because in the gs1 it looks very cool but once you open the geography optional you will be reading that a lot many things are mineral 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 <laughs> if it then will be bogged down okay, this is not my field of interest in geography gs paper you will be reading about the earthquake volcano and you will be feeling like okay yeah this is cool but in optional you will be going for something else reallocation of resources establishment of the firms and industries such topics will be there in the geography you will won't be finding the interest in that per se individually i am saying somebody else will find the interest in it okay so uh, this is the game five criteria just note it down anything can be your first and do your research even if you want to delay it delay it go for the gs but please don't just the optional from the gs okay because that will be like uh, the suicidal thing it happened with me and that's why i'm emphasizing on it now let's go to take the question ह्यूमैनिटीज ऑप्शनल लाइक कवरेज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ सोशोलॉजी विद जी एस एंथ्रोपोलॉजी विद जी एस पॉलिटिकल साइंस विद जी एस इकोनॉमिक्स विद जी एस साइकोलॉजी विद जी एस फिलोसफी विद जी एस 
philosophy is having convergence with gs4 ethics a pavet is having convergence with gs4 so every optional is true in this sense but uh, this approach should not be taken at the face value no the linkages will not help you like i said no tone is completely different uh, many toppers they have a political science math uh, they have scored 290 and 300 and in gs2 they have scored 90 80 क्योंकि द डिमांड इज डिफरेंट यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू राइट सिलेबस में क्या था वट इज वट एवर देर इज सिलेबस इन लाइक लेट्स मी लेट मी टेल यू इन सोशोलॉजी देर इज ए कास्ट कास्ट आई हैव टू स्टडी इन सोशल इशूज टू दे आज द कास्ट बट इन माई सोशोलॉजी ऑप्शनल आई रीड वट एम एन श्रीनिवासन सेड वट जी एस घुरिया सेड वट लुइस डूमेंट सेड वट एंद्रे बेते सेड बट इन जी एस वन सोशल इशूज आई वोट बी एबल टू कोट एनी नेम आई हैव टू जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इन द लेम टर्म्स how caste is working so inter caste marriage is less in this way i will be writing in the gs but in my optional i'll be quoting the study of mn srinivas study of louis dumont they are two completely different domain altogether so there is no much linkages but yes optional helps you to understand the question into of the gs what exactly it is asking you in certain elements it can give you certain data certain uh, folder but that won't be enough to go for optional just because of it having a linkage so that advice is that take it with a pinch of salt okay look uh uh okay cancel the only look the thing is na i'm not a uh, very expert to talk about ki geography lena chahiye ya nahi ya political science lena chahiye ya nahi हिस्ट्री लेना चाहिए कि नहीं इट इज ऑल अबाउट यू मैथमेटिक्स लेना चाहिए कि नहीं मेनी ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स जो मैथ्स से किए दे हैव डन वंडरफुली वेल द अर्चित आई टोल ना ही हैज क्लियर थ्री टाइम्स ही हैज डन इट विद मैथमेटिक्स ऑल द टाइम्स इवन द आशीष ही क्लियर इट ट्वाइस विथ मैथमेटिक्स सो मैंने नहीं क्लियर किया मैथ्स से आई हैड टू चेंज द ऑप्शनल एंड गो विद सोशोलॉजी सो इट इज इंडिविजुअल ऑल्सो द फेनोमिना इज वेरी इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक इन द नेचर so it is not just possible to handhold you uh, handhold to tell you ki what you should take just have a faith in yourself i have given you criteria just look out for you and never ever believe somebody telling you because it is just the personal point of view agar mujhse puchoge if you ask me the question i will be telling you to take sociology and do not take mathematics but somebody might be very much expert in maths and i will be doing wrong by saying it that i failed to clear with mathematics so mathematics is bad no Mathematics is good. Kanish Kataria sir, he just <laughs> scored three seventy around in mathematics. He ended up scoring so well that he was not even needing the interview to get into the list. Itna score kya tha? So uh, it is individualistic phenomena. Just don't take the advice at the face value by anybody, even me, even anyone. Just go through your guts, go through your syllabus, go through the previous questions, go through whatever the knowledge you have, whether when you are. Uh, एक सिंपल सा है कि रीड द एन सी आर टी ऑफ बुक्स लेट्स रीड द जियोग्राफी रीड द सोशल इशूज यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द इंटरेस्ट कंपोनेंट इनिशियली वेदर यू आर फाइंडिंग दिस वन इंटरेस्टिंग और नॉट बट दैट वॉन्ट बी लाइक यूर हंड्रेड परसेंट गारंटी दैट इट इज सोइंग यू द ग्रेट रिजल्ट नो दिस विल ऑलवेज बी द कैच कभी कभी होता है कि तुक्के में यू हैव टू गो ब्लाइंडली एंड देन थिंक इट इज गुड और नॉट ठीक है तो इसलिए आई एम जस्ट रजिस्टिंग फ्रॉम सेइंग एनीथिंग I have given you five criteria, and I judge your wisdom that it is going to be wonderful for yourself. So, आप अपने से लेना. Take the decision from your own end by comparing it, and you should not be in a hurry. Take two, three months. Be comfortable. Read one or two optional all together just to ch uh, check the taste of it, just to see the market. Market में जाके बहुत सारी चीजें जो available हैं, many resources are available. Just glide through one or twice, one day, twice a day. this won't give you the whole picture but at least it will show the path from your point of view so as i rakhna hai theek hai and anything everybody is saying just take it with a pinch of salt it won't be able to be totally true in your case to isko bhi rakhna hai so optional ke liye abhi tak uh, i'm just keeping this thing of the optional here only ki aage ki cheeze you just have to make of your own these are the five six criteria aapko ek do aur pata chal jayega based on it you go others how to clear the uh, for those who didn't clear prelims for after three attempts how can i do based in the prelims okay i'm going to take this 
प्रीवियस स्लाइड ओके अच्छा ये इंटरेस्ट प्रीलिम्स ओके प्रीलिम्स इज समथिंग फॉर विच द आंसर इज देयर ऑन द पेपर इट सेल्फ यू जस्ट हैव टू चूज इट तो एक बेनिफिट होता है बट ऑल द एंस बिकॉज यू डू नॉट हैव द डेटा इन ए वेरी अरेंज वे सो एवरी एंसर सिम्स फेजिबल इस कारण से कन्फ्यूज होना था दैट्स वाई यू गेट कन्फ्यूज इन द प्रीलिम्स बिकॉज यू हैव द डेटा इन द माइंड बट यू डू नॉट हैव दम अरेंज वेरी वेल सो एवरी एंसर सिम्स टू बी पॉसिबल एंसर इन द ऑप्शन एंड यू गेट वेरी कन्फ्यूज विद इट प्रीलिम्स इज नॉट ऑल अबाउट रीडिंग वो तो साइनो को आने दैट इज द बेस्ट यू नीड टू हैव द डेटा इन योर ब्रेन बट द गेम बिगिनस आफ्टर दैट the second process the test series it brings your aptitude in the right direction let me tell you prelims with two three things which i did and it worked for me i hope that will work for you too first is that you read the question and choose the answer and this is the aptitude test it is not a knowledge test even despite not knowing the uh, content you will be able to choose one particular options to be the true and that will become the case what happens is that whenever you have read polity lesa lakshmi kant you studied it buy a uh, test series of the market or join any test series anyone diademy mein to let's join diademy is test series and you give the test of polity then and there and you don't go for like a uh, sectional test whenever you are doing na just don't test your knowledge no first to 10 first to 10 you solve the answer and then flip to the explanation part and read the explanation why because this process is called aptitude correction there is a tendency in us we take any statement at the face value to be wrong or we tend to take or the face value to be right this is the tendency in any individual somebody has a very much uh, reservation so he feels okay this statement is wrong somebody is very jolly about the life so he says everything is correct so statement is correct this is the aptitude everybody has now once you are solving 1 to 10 na you will be finding that in four or five questions you are confused between option b and c let's say and you ticked option b and in answer you found that the answer was uh, uh, c and it happened with all the three or four questions so whatever you ticked was the wrong so there is a problem in the aptitude and there the correction will happen ultimately your brain will come to know that my thinking line is not matching with the line of the question paper and gradually you will start thinking in a different direction and once your thinking line is matching with the answer let's say b is the option you take then it is the correct answer it will got reaugmented it will get strengthened up so the second process is called aptitude correction this process is missed by many people they read and they attempt entire question 1 to 100 and they do not even check why they have ticked option c of 51 question plus explanation pad lete hain they just read the explanation gather the knowledge because they are always after the knowledge तो वो इशू होता है कि दे आर ऑलवेज आफ्टर द नॉलेज एंड उसको करना नहीं होता यू हैव टू गेट योर एप्टीट्यूड करेक्टेड एंड दैट विल ऑलवेज हैपन व्हेन यू आर सॉल्विंग इन अ वेरी स्मॉल स्मॉल चंक एंड रीवैल्यूएटिंग योरसेल्फ तो सेकंड प्रोसेस इज गो फॉर द एप्टीट्यूड करेक्शन थर्ड प्रोसेस इज अटेम्प्ट द फुल लेंथ एंड गेट टू नो योर ऑप्टिमम नंबर ऑफ अटेम्प्ट्स कितना करना होता है बिकॉज दिस इज द गेम ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी सो इन 2016 व्हेन आई अटेम्प्टेड ना आई न्यू 38 क्वेश्चंस एग्जैक्टली कि दिस इज आई एम हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द करेक्ट वन सो आई एंडेड अप अटेम्प्ट नाइन्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑल टूगेदर नाइन्टी फाइव बिकॉज उसके बाद मुझे लगा कि पाँच छोड़ दो क्योंकि वो माइनस में जाएंगे इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन आई न्यू अराउंड फोर्टी फोर क्वेश्चन एग्जैक्टली सो माई अटैम्प्ट वॉज ओनली एटी सेवन इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन आई न्यू ओनली थर्टी टू क्वेश्चन करेक्टली सो यू नो हाउ मच आई अटैम्प्ट हंड्रेड वाई आपको वो समझना होता है थर्टी टू क्वेश्चन आई अटेम्प्टेड आई न्यू ओनली सिक्सटी फोर मार्क्स आई नीडेड टू स्कोर अराउंड थर्टी सिक्स मोर सो आई नीडेड टू टेक रिस्क एंड दैट वॉज दैट दैट वॉज द नीड ठीक है तो इसलिए ज़्यादा अटैम्प्ट किया दिस टाइम आई वॉज नोइंग फोर्टी फोर सो आई ऑलरेडी हैड एटी एट मार्क्स इन माई हैंड एंड आई नीडेड फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन मार्क्स मोर देन दैट सो मुझे ज़्यादा अटैम्प्ट करने का आई डिड नॉट नीड टू अटैम्प्ट अलॉट फिर माइनस में मेरा होने लगता क्योंकि आप पिक करके फिर नीचे गिरने लगते हो एंड हेयर मैं इतना ऑलरेडी नीचे गिरा था कि सिर्फ पिक ही पिक होता ठीक है सो दिस इज द गेम यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग आफ्टर अटेम्प्टिंग योर फुल लेंथ कि हाउ मच योर नोबेल अटेम्प्ट नंबर मेनी पीपल फेल इन द प्रिलिम्स 
despite having the knowledge is that they attempted two less or they attempted two more you need to know your optimum number of the questions to be attempted and that depends upon the difficulty of the question paper so when you are doing the full length you will understand that this is the difficult paper so i have to go for the higher higher number of attempt this is the easy one everybody will be correcting it so i have to refrain from negative marking so usme jo aapko exactly aata hai jitna aata hai utna karke thoda sa kam risk loge so that is the game so prelims is more than what you have studied matlab studying is the important that is the best but prelims is more than what you have studied it is the second third fourth process aptitude correction knowing the number of favorable attempts and then going for it to ye hota so those who do have not cleared the prelims first i want to ask them to get your content rearranged by doing the test series and test series may be you have to go for the aptitude correction and then you have to go for the full length test to know your optimum uh, attempt numbers and that is only thing which is missing i hope and you will be able to correct it sir how to correlate polity and governance with the current affairs efficiently i don't think this is the right time to tell you this kyunki a unit i hope then you know everything matlab kind of basic knowledge you have anirudh singh singha it means you have the basic knowledge of what is polity and governance and current affairs efficiently look i will be telling you what happens is that you have to just give an argument and back it up with example in gs anything current affairs may don't have to read the explanation no you need to collect the examples from it because in the paper you are going to make an argument and back it with example why let me tell you example question is civil society the role of civil society as i said civil society is not suitable for india discuss and you will be writing yes civil society is not suitable for india because they don't understand the ethos of indian culture they don't understand the polity of india as a sab likh aayenge but is it legitimate examiner is knowing that you are bluffing because everybody will be able to write in the same tone it is not understanding the ethos it is not understanding the polity it does not understand the economy it is not there in the system as as karke aa jayenge everybody will be able to write but answers will become very precise once you give the example so you will be writing it does not understand the cultural ethos of india for example peta against jalikatu there was this uh, organization peta it demanded the abolition of jalikatu which was happening in tamil nadu it was a uh, animal uh, fight kind of thing so peta was like uh, people are hurting the animals and that is why it should be banned but th the thing was it was cultural in the nature people used to take care of the animals and for that why to play in the game of jalikatu so entire taking care was being done at the cultural level even in the games appropriate uh, caution precautions were taken so the animals were not harmed even the animals were become very much synonymous to the family member the peta the civil society which was foreign in its orientation could not understand the ethos of india so once you write in a peta against jaligatu examiner will come to know that you know the answer so current affairs me don't have to pick up the mainious concept no you have to pick up the examples so that you can give and make your answer legitimized to aise hi bas karna hai be it polity governance or whatever you have to pick up the current affairs to give it as an example to legitimize your argument or answer that is all it is needed what are basic books for prelims what are my basic books for prelims uh, google any topper you will be getting the same sources i just meant literally that sources do not matter what matters at the end of the day is that whatever upsc has prescribed you know it so if you know indian constitution whether you have studied lakshmi kant the dd vasu does not matter whatever i studied lakshmi kant the dd vasu does not matter so books ke piche mat bhago uh, uh, that will be guided very well uh, rahul sir i think uh, has already told you ki book list kya hai sabke liye same hai sare toppers padhte hain every topper is reading the same sources few people are able to clear it why bus everybody is stuck at this level reading the books only if you don't complete the entire process you won't be able to clear it to ye wala hai to just don't go for the books ek list mil gaya just have faith mentor hai agar if you are taking rao sir as a mentor have faith whatever books list he gives that will be sufficient game to wahan se shuru hota na fir 
आफ्टर गेटिंग द कंटेंट यूर हेड तो उस पर जाना है there's no uh, right or wrong answer to this question you can I start from the very beginning even i will uh, suggest you start from the very beginning just take it 25 phir bhi saath mein leke chalo you can have the lag of one or two months but usse zyada mat karna zyada what was your strategy for prelims as you have played i think i have been very thorough jo bhi bataya tha ke i read the books i attempted sectionals 1 to 10 just to correct my aptitude and then i was attempting full length to understand what is my uh, possible um, optimum number of questions to be attempted this is only three things i did book sabka same hota hai uske baad jo hota hai na wo karna hota hai you have to uh, link everything uh, what is your strategy for sociology optional i think there is this video on the youtube channel of dadmi is usme i have talked about how to approach as sociology for one hour you can watch that video or uh, i will ask the sir to send you send, uh, send you the link to wahan se dekh lena i have covered it very matlab uh, in a holistic way so watch that thing that will help you uh, to get the uh, hang of it which place is better for self study delhi or home Uh, I hope. What uh, should I tell? What should I tell? Which place is better for self-study, Delhi or home? Yes, it is very subjective questions. You know, there is no right or wrong answers. Uh, for the sake of telling or being idealistic, I will be saying uh, stay at home, घर का खाना मिलेगा and everybody will be able to take care of it. But it might not be practical for many people. and uh, it, uh, many people uh, lack independence or the resources at home are not very sufficient if you have a 2 bhk room and your family is large you won't be able to study so in that scenario you have to explicitly tell me your conditions ki kaisa hai so i am skipping this part you know it well if you feel like coming to the delhi come to delhi if you don't feel like coming to the delhi it is upon you okay so these are very personal questions uh guidance i cannot give you uh by just the face value of it if i do i will be doing the wrongs so uh jo karna you know it already if you don't uh, feel like uh, you are conf confident enough in the content come to delhi uh, take the help take the help of the mentor prepare here and if you feel like okay i am done with this i can prepare at the home then go back to the home so always come with a hybrid na why the need of having zero and one be in the quantum phase here दोनों कर लो सर यू गेव रियली वेल्यूबल इन फो इफ यूज थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रूवा हाँ सर है शेयर द सोशोलॉजी ऑप्शनल स्ट्रैटेजी इन द चैट इट सेल्फ यू कैन सी इट द सोशोलॉजी वन और एक और क्वेश्चन था कैन यू टेल द स्टोरी अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन वर्सेज योर जॉब ड्यूरिंग प्रिपेरेशन Look, uh, uh, since you are all a fresher now, I want to re-emphasize on this point, okay? Because we all come from the lower middle class family, middle class family. If I'm from the upper class family, I'm like, why are you not in Goa? <laughs> why are you all here? So no, you are all from the lower middle class family or middle class family, and I will be taking at the face value of it, okay? So once we come to the preparation of civil services, we do not have much time because we have to show to the result to the family. they are accountable to them okay in one or two years they will start asking you even you will start you will start asking yourself that you are wasting the resources of your family parents they are cutting their own share to give you to the same and you are not able to do the justice with it even the identity crisis happens you know because we have overcome the student phase now you need to get a professional identity many of your batchmates will be posting on the instagram or facebook of working here making a party after saturday sunday and you will like are kya kar raha hu what am i doing here so it, this will become a crisis and therefore the job is not only to give you a economic uh, help it it also helps you to get the identity for yourself and this problem will start occurring which occur with me or kuch aur bhi setback ho jate hain family mein to 
करना ही पड़ता है इफ यू फेस एनी सेट बैक इन द फैमिली देन गोइंग फॉर द जॉब बिकम्स वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट सो आई थिंक एवरीबडी इज ऑन द बेस्ट लेवल लाइक यू ऑल आर कमिंग इन टू द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सिविल सर्विसेस एंड आई होप यू हैव वन ईयर ऑफ यूर ऑन नहीं है तो जस्ट लाई डाउन इन द इन द फीट ऑफ योर पेरेंट्स एंड बाई टाइम ऑफ वन ईयर ओके एक साल जस्ट क्यू मी वन ईयर इन वन ईयर वॉट हैपन्स वन यू कम टू द दिल्ली और कम टू एनी प्लेसेस ना यू गेट टेम्पटेड कि जॉब चाहिए आई नीड टू शो रिजल्ट टू द पेरेंट्स सो स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एस एस सी सी जी एल यू पी एस सी सी ए पी एफ एस 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 सी आई ओ आई बी हाँ सी डी एस स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर बैंक एस बी आई आर बी आई समथिंग नबार्ड एंड ऑल वाई बिकॉज देर इज ऑलवेज आर्स टू शो रिजल्ट टू द पेरेंट्स टू शो रिजल्ट टू द फैमिली टू अर्न क्योंकि ओके आई नो इट बट वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट आई विल बी जस्ट आस्किंग यू यू हैव वन ईयर जस्ट डिवोट यू टू द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सिविल सर्विसेज बस एक साल यही करना है जस्ट कवर एवरी थिंग ऑप्शनल जी एस एस ए टेक द गाइडेंस ऑफ एनी मेन्टोर राहुल सर के पीछे पड़ के गिर जाओ जस्ट टेक एवरी थिंग आउट इन वन ईयर वाई आई एम सींग इट री एम्फोसाइजिंग ऑन दिस बिकॉज वंस यू डू इन द वन ईयर ना यूर बेस विल बिकम सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट इन द फ्यूचर यू वॉन्ट बी नीडिंग द सिक्स सेवन एट आवर्स ऑफ स्टडी नो जस्ट विद द थ्री और फोर आवर्स ऑफ स्टडी यू विल बी एबल टू मेंटेन द स्ट्रक्चर विच यू हैव क्रिएटेड इन वन ईयर सो वन ईयर द स्ट्रक्चर क्रिएटेड एंड देर आफ्टर थ्री आवर्स एवरी डे टू वैल्यू एड एंड रिवाइज एवरी थिंग एवरी डे एंड फिर संडे सैटरडे को आप यू विल बी एबल टू रीड फॉर लाइक टेन आवर्स लेट से यू विल बी एबल टू सर्वाइव विद द स्ट्रक्चर यू हैव But if you start doing the SSC, SCIOIB, everything, this one year of preparation will turn out into three years of preparation. You won't know. You won't be able to realize. Your three years will come. You will prepare for it. Because I am not doing GSE. So why I am wanting, uh, why I am saying you this? You have one year. Just get your basics very clear. Devote it to the civil services. Once you make your background clear, na, then despite working, you will be having the enough strength or idea. to take out 3 hours of time to prepare for the civil services so what i did in 16 17 like i started from 14 15 maine 2 saal acche se padha i uh, gave the attempt and joined state bank of india i my base was already very much prepared i was not getting time in the bank bank to bahut brutal place hai but uh, at least 2 hours i was able to take out every day and 2 hours mein i was revising the content which i created and sunday saturday ko i was reading the current affairs that is it and since everything was very much cleared i was able to sustain with my structure and clear the next few attempts to ye aapke sath hoga ek saal ke baad if you don't clear less in the first attempt you will try to switch to some other uh, examination too wo bhi sath mein dene loge unless somebody will clear this examination will join there to wahan pe issue hoga ki agar if you don't have your base you won't be getting the time aapke confidence bhi nahi rahega you won't be having the confidence to pursue with it and you will switch into the job fir aap job mein unme chale jaoge you will be stuck there but if you are well prepared your base is strong you will have enough confidence as well as less time needed to prepare for the same and therefore you will be in the orbit of the upsc despite working so my humble request is that this is the only criteria ke prevention is better than cure you know that after one or two year you are going to search for the job any other job other than upsc if you are not getting through it in the first attempt so make your things very much um, clear in the base structure of the upsc preparation ek saal pura dena hai you have to give one year of it make your base very strong and then go for it fir baad mein jab aap pura kar loge na to you won't be needing 6 7 8 hours sir you will be needing just 3 4 hours 3 3 ghante to you will be easily able to take out from the 24 hours of uh, your day to itna ho jata hai so that is the ne thing needed okay but if you are thinking i am doing the job and then i will prepare it will become difficult fir wo to freelancer jaisa job karoge tabhi hoga yaar nahi to you will be taking 3 years 4 years to just prepare your content to agar itna time dena chahte ho like uh, delay karna chahte ho then it's okay do with the job uh, i'm I, i think i will be allotted indian foreign services yeah yeah i was uh, this was my first preference itself well, i i i would like to become diplomat give the speeches take out some negotiations and uh, bring something for the country to aisa karna hai i feel like you know i i have something to like on, bring out on the table 
like if somebody asks me to speak from my podium i won't hesitate if somebody asks me to deal make a deal at the table i won't hesitate uh pitch something i won't hesitate uh be presentable i will be able to do it so based on criteria i wanted to become a diplomat where i will be able to negotiate trade deals uh make a political uh, uh, uh like uh, synthesis uh bring out the helps to my country so as a tha to i just went for indian foreign services to wo mujhe mil jayega how good answer writing is done uh, to get good marks immense ye to i uh, understood from the rahul sir himself he takes workshop on every sunday and he tells you the eight methods to write introduction eight methods to write uh, conclusion many more things to maine unhi se sikha hai so you people can uh, watch his lectures aur wo bata denge ki kaise karna hai iska bhi bahut crisp pattern hai ki introduction mein aise likho you have to write introduction in this fashion conclusion in this fashion body in this fashion that is why i am emphasizing that examination is very much uh, coherent it is not random only few things are there which is to be included in the answer to wo karna hoga there is no average student in this preparation even if you are average na you will end up becoming an latin one at the end of the day the question is sir what habit we should inculcate that an average student can crack it sir how to know that we can do it there's no average student once you have come for the preparation of civil services you are no more the average you will know many more things than other people you will be having the mastery over all the subjects economics ka ene janta tha and i my entire interview was on economic diplomacy theek hai to you will become master in it so so the uh, average student to nahi rahoge but you have to maintain the law of average in your answers or the paper that you have to at least score average in all the papers you are giving you cannot underperform in anything sanskrit option on us sir uh, will it be helpful if you choose a language as a optional i am sanskrit on a student i want to choose yeah, go for sanskrit if you are uh, comfortable in it go for it koi usme problem nahi hai when is the best time to select optional when is the best time to select optional हम्म डेट कौन सा है एनी डे आफ्टर दिस सर हाउ टू इंक्रीज द स्कोर इन ऐसे पेपर पेपर टू एंड पेपर फोर इन इनफैक्ट आई हैव टेक द इंटायर लेक्चर ऑन ऐसे सेवन लेक्चर्स सो anirudh uh, ask sir to um, inqu uh, inquire sir about it there is a essay lecture on it you will be able to get a good idea of from it best to uh, motivation na change hote rehta hai okay abhi admin to just kura diya they they won't they won't be any constant motivation in the entire journey if you ask 2014 aman ki kyun motivated ho क्योंकि लोगों ने बोला था बन जाओ तो बन गया फिर आज 2022 अमन नो आई वांट टू बिकम अ डिप्लोमेट बिकॉज़ आई थिंक आई कैन कंट्रीब्यूट और फिर बाहर भी घूमना है इफ यू आस्क अमन 2018 आई हैड ऑप्टेड फॉर इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस एज माय फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस 2018 में व्हाई बिकॉज़ आई वाज वर्किंग इन द बैंक एंड आई वाज सर्विंग इन द रूरल एरियाज तो आई फेल्ड लाइक ओके बैंकर की तरह कुछ नहीं कर पाता हूं नो पावर आई हैव सो आई विल बिकम डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट टू टू ब्रिंग चेंजेस सो दैट टाइम आई ऑप्टेड इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस फिर बाद में पता चला कि नहीं यार मेरा इंटरेस्ट लाइज इन डूइंग दैट फिर धीरे धीरे पता चल जाता है इवन बाई इवन बाई लुकिंग एट मी यू कैन सी दैट हाँ इसको यू एन में बुलवा देना लाइक देर इज सर्टन स्ट्रेंथ ना मैं जहाँ पर बोलना है वहाँ बोल सकता हूँ तो आपको फिर पता चलने लगता है कि वे आर योर इंटरेस्ट लाइज एंड दैट बिकम्स योर मोटिवेशन समटाइम्स ट्रिवल मोटिवेशन भी होता है कि गर्लफ्रेंड बनाना है तो वो हो जाएगा पेरेंट्स को दिखाना वो हो जाएगा देर विल बी मैनी रीजन्स तो it will change from time to time and it, it will change from movie to movie it will change from minute to minute even article to article you write the answers why do i become a civil servant abhi aur do din baad koi movie dikha dunga article 15 you will be writing why do i become uh, why do i want to become ips aur uske baad ek aur movie dikha dunga and you'll like why do i want to become a civil servant again dusra cheez so it will keep changing but the thing is at the end of the day you will be able to find the real motivation why do i want to become sometimes after the 6 years now of giving the attempt 
क्लियरिंग द एग्जामिनेशन इट्स एल बिकम अ मोटिवेशन फॉर मी कि आई कैन नॉट बी फेल्यूअर इन दिस गेम यार कि मतलब मैं तो अच्छा स्टूडेंट था हाउ कैन आई फेल एट द यू पी एस सी सो क्लियरिंग द एग्जामिनेशन इट्स एल बिकम अ मोटिवेशन फॉर इट फॉर मी सो दे विल बी मेनी थिंग ऐसा कोई जिस दिन पता चलेगा मुझे भी बता देना दैट इज वेरी सब्जेक्टिव आ जाएगा लेट मी टेल यू आ जाएगा आई रिजाइन माई जॉब इन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन के बीच में मैंने रिजाइन किया था और तो था मोटिवेशन था कि मुझे बनना ये तो मैं जॉब छोड़ने के लिए भी रेडी था आई वॉज रेडी टू रिजाइन माई जॉब so there was certain motivation for it if you had asked me to resign the same thing in 2016 i could not have done it so you will be able to find the reasons at at many places you just have to look for the sign and have the confidence to do it so abhi starting mein you will be having a lot many questions just keep it there ki ha rehne do you will be able to get the answers in this journey fir aake aap bhi bologe ki ki kaise karna hai you will be able to tell people ki kya karna hai sir what level of english is required in the mains very basic very basic you just have to convey the answer um, the message to the examiner that you know the answer that is it very basics aapko explain nahi banna thoda bahut english ka importance is there in the essay paper because there you have to maintain the uh, clarity of language the flow in the answers there you will be needing not to make any grammatical error or spelling error so english is needed in the essay but for the gs it is not so much needed इवन इन द टेलीग्राम लैंग्वेज लिख सकते हो अवेयरनेस एनलाइटेनमेंट ऐसे करके बस भाग जाओ यस एंड हाउ कैन वी इम्प्रूव इट पूजा यादव सॉरी क्वेश्चन पूजा वट इज योर क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन वी इम्प्रूव इट वॉट शुड बी द इम्प्रूवमेंट सर आर यू टू बी एम्बेसडर होपफुली आई विल बिकम थर्ड सेक्रेटरी आफ्टर थर्टी ईयर डाउन द लाइन आई माइट बिकम एम्बेसडर थर्टी ज़्यादा बोलते हैं ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन लेट्स से कैसा परफॉर्म करता हूँ मैं इन द सर्विस दैट विल बी माय पाथ टू बिकम सो हाउ कैन वी इम्प्रूव रोशन सिंह टू एवरीवन सर तुम ग्रेट हो <laughs> कैसे बोलते हैं पंजाबी में थैंक यू यार चलो थैंक यू यार hmm. or anything else i think the major things that we have in co- we have covered na you have little bit of idea to aaram se karo and yes at the end of the day don't trust everyone <laughs> na take everything everything i have said na even my words with a pinch of salt because you are bel- you will be responsible for everything you are doing in your life सो लोकस शुड बी इन योर हैंड ऐसा नहीं होगा कि लास्ट में जाके यू सेड यू शुड ना टेल कि उसने मुझे एडवाइस किया था और मैंने मान लिया था नो दैट डे एडवाइस वॉज गिवन दैट जी एस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी स्क्रैप्ड सो टेक द जी एस वन दैट वॉज अ गुड एडवाइस बिकॉज ऑफ द जी एस कोचिंग आई वॉज एबल टू क्लियर माई प्रॉब्लम्स ऑल द सिक्स टाइम्स बट या आई डिड नॉट डू वेल ऑप्शनल बिकॉज आई डिड नॉट लेट द लोकस टू बी इन माई हैंड मुझे समझ में आ गया था कि आई एम नॉट डूइंग वेल विद द मैथमेटिक्स मुझे फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट के बाद आई शुड हैव चेंज द मैथमेटिक्स इट सेल्फ even just after the first attempt i should have changed it but i went it i went with mathematics for the fourth time so i was condemned to not clear this and condemned to clear in the sixth one this was my fault so do not blame anyone just gather everything you are mature enough we are all are like more than 21 so you have all the knowledge you know everything what other people are trying to say it take the options when i was in uh, school i was the goalkeeper of an uh, first school football team and there was this penalty shoot out entire school came behind my post and everybody was like aman he is going to hit you in the right left and i was totally confused <laughs> and i could not save even single goal my co- coach called me and he was like ki you had all the expertise at the field to know who is going to shoot where everybody else was shouting whether they they have the expertise for it or not well i know I, they don't have even you are qualified enough to uh, work on the field you are in the position you should have taken the decision so in life suno sab ki karo apni listen to everybody and then decide what we want to do so that is why i am saying ki no matter what i have said today you can just nullify it make it zero and do of your own i have done my bit and you have to do your bit if you find the synchronization inculcate it 
इम्प्रूव अपॉन इट एंड वेन यू गेट टू दिस पोजिशन शेयर विद अदर पीपल ठीक है सो एनी थिंग यू आर डूइंग जस्ट टेक थिंग्स विद अ पिंच ऑफ सॉल्ट मे बी मैं इसीलिए ऑप्शन में हमेशा गलत लेता था आई यूज टू टेक द ऑप्शन टू बी रॉन्ग एट द फेस वैल्यू दिस वॉज माई एप्टीट्यूड इन प्रेलेम्स लिटिल बिट क्वेश्चनिंग इन द लिटिल एवरी थिंग बट दिस इज हाउ द लाइफ हैज बिन ओके सो डेवलप योर ओन ओन हैबिट डेवलप योर ओन थिंकिंग एंड दिस फैशन वन कैन गो हेड ओके चलो फिर आई विल बी आस्किंग सर के आगे क्या करते हैं एंड फिर वी डूइंग दैट ओके वेलकम hello everyone and welcome back so how was the discussion last almost one more than one hour what did you Okay, am I audible now? Okay, so what did you learn? What did you learn, everyone, from Aman sir? And even since morning, what are you learning? Quickly share. And uh, I promised that we will be having Nitin sir, but Nitin sir is not able to join as of now. Maybe we will have one more session, and we will invite him. Okay. because of him uh, like even though it is sunday but you know he is a district magistrate so district magistrate have emergency uh, without any pre schedule they can they can be called for any meeting kuch event ho sakta hai so i am in touch with him but not able to he is not able to join because of some issues right so we will have one more session of nitin sir uh, please keep checking our telegram channel please keep checking the telegram channel on the telegram channel we will post the link when we will be having it Okay, we will try to have it uh, within a week or ten days. So uh, that is about him. And uh, what did you learn, everyone? Uh, quickly tell me, online people, please quickly tell me what did you learn? Lots of responsibilities. Yes. So what did you learn? What are your top three learnings since in since morning? आपने क्या सीखा अभी तक? Top three learnings. Try to revise the things. Otherwise, you will keep learning, learning, le learning. एंड अगर आपको मैं एक आंसर दू मॉर्निंग दे कि टेल मी टेन पॉइंट विच यू आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग विल यू बी एबल टू राइट हाउ टू रीड एन सी आर टी बट क्या लर्न किया हाउ टू रीड एन सी आर टी में क्या लर्न किया आपने पी क्यू एस आर टी पी क्यू आर एस टेक्निक वेरी गुड ऑनलाइन पीपल यू आर नॉट रेस्पॉन्डिंग वॉट एपन आर यू हियर ऑनलाइन आर यू विद मी नो रेस्पॉन्स can you hear me online okay what did you learn since morning tell me the three things that you are learning since morning since morning i am uh, me and aman sir is discussing 11 am from uh, 11 am but now it's your responsibility first ncert and then reference books okay nirudh very good keep sharing and uh, we have answer writing workshop lot of you have the questions regarding answer writing so in the answer writing workshop uh, this will be happening on uh, you know 7th of august 
संडे कमिंग संडे 11 एम टू 4 पी एम एंड हियर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एट टाइप्स ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन फाइव वेज टू अंडरस्टैंड क्वेश्चन फाइव वेज टू अंडरस्टैंड क्वेश्चन एट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉडी एट बॉडी टाइप्स फोर कंक्लूजन आइडियाज right so those of you who have not attended this workshop so far please attend this workshop and i will discuss with the help of previous year questions aapne to attend kiya hai na ha so with the help of previous year questions i will discuss each one of these things right so it will be very very informative workshop for you apart from this we have the optional workshops also right so if you have the optionals like anthropology political science economics commerce and accountancy sociology geography aur kya chahiye bataiye aapko history okay we will arrange one for history what else so we have multiple optionals and for this we have shared the telegram channels please join the telegram channels okay and we will keep conducting the workshop for the optionals also through the expert faculties right through the expert faculties this workshop will be conducted right apart from this as i told you initially also we have the paid programs so you can join the paid programs like uh, this foundation course so making the base is very important as aman sir also told making the base is very important and uh, we we have this uh, okay we have this foundation course available for 2000 uh, sorry this is 20, 20 not 22 this is 20, 2023 for 2023 and for 2024 right so if you are appearing for 2025 then also you can join this 24 course right so this gs foundation course has all the components built up every component like we will start with the basic right then we will discuss the uh, exam oriented concept then we will go to the uh <coughs> mains part and then we will go to the answer writing in fact answer writing is built in the class itself we do the answer writing in the class itself right so if you have to understand more information about this if you want to know more about this you can contact us we will provide you more details about this right so we will be starting with the new batch with the ncert so ncert we are starting that is a you know this ncert foundation is a part of this uh, course only this gs foundation course only and you can join separately also just a minute yeah so we are also starting the ncert foundation right ncert foundation as i told you in the middle of the uh, class only online or offline it will be both and it will start on 4th of august here we'll take the class from 5 pm onwards every wednesday saturday sunday these three classes will be there and there can be extra classes also in this we will cover all the important ncerts right and ncert short notes and 2000 mcqs based on the ncert will be covered the cost for the offline is 10000 rupees and the online 9500 rupees and you can call on this number for the enrollment this is already part of the gs foundation course in the gs foundation course you have ncert all the subjects csat test series prelims test series essay answer writing all the mains papers everything so it is our responsibility to complete your general studies preparation that is for the gs foundation course right so if you want to get more information about this we have already shared the counseling forms on the chat you can fill up that counseling form and also online people please give the feedback how how was this session for you and i can see lot of feedbacks 
that you are learning tanya is shared uh, how to read newspaper and uh, not to read the lakshmi kant <laughs> but you should know the concept okay very good making on mind all the decision very good mudita has shared lot of learnings how to prepare for prelims understanding of syllabus ncert pq sit technique notes making preparation of current affairs and how to choose the optional very good mudita you have comprehended it very beautifully so everyone online please i have shared the link for the google review please at least give one uh, you know two three lines of what did you learn and would you like to recommend our program our uh, workshop to others people so what is your learning batai top three learning bataiye abhi tak kya seekha aapne morning mein first try to recapitulate pehle koshish kijiye ki aapne kya seekha because something which you recall that thing you can reproduce okay in fact i should also tell you about the revision technique are you interested in that how to revise because revision is something which is very important how many of you are interested in knowing about the revision part revision okay very good but before that online please fill up the google review aur aapko bhi hum feedback form de dete hain ab dilwa dete hain theek hai online please fill up the uh, google review and please write in the chat box done once you are done then you can fill up, uh, then we will proceed right so you can fill up fill up this free counseling form so that our team can contact you and if you have any questions about anything at personal level also you can ask your questions from our team right after that we will proceed to the revision part how to revise okay arti very good kishor kumar jha learning and practicing okay aapne kya seekha three points bataiye shivam okay very good three major news for the current affairs very good don't try to be perfectionist in the upsc preparation you have to be incremental very good pqs at technique very good aapne kaise kari to 3 point okay okay how to select optional what did you learn in that scoring hona chahiye yes resources available on ishi yes very good very good very good everyone are you doing the google review please complete and then type in the chat box then we will start with the revision how to revise how to revise so for revision first of all it has to be periodical or regular simply allocate daily 2 hours weekly one day in this daily 2 hours you will be revising the last day content in this weekly one day you will be revising last six day content and this two hour you should be fixing for example on a daily basis from say 6 am to 8 am you will do only revision because most of our learning it drops within 24 hours within 24 hours the whatever we read it starts dropping if we don't revise it again 
right then similarly within a week it is starts drop, dropping to the next level if you don't revise and the key the key of clearing the upsc is to maintain whatever you have learned so far if you forget then no need of reading anything uh, just ask a question from yourself if i am reading a new book will i be able to recall it after one month will i be able to carry this to the exam hall simple because you are not here to become intellectual you are here to just clear the exam by writing good answers and practicing solving the mcq after becoming it after going into service you can do whatever you want to do for the subject so don't read for curiosity read for the exam and read to revise for clearing the exam this is the one thing second thing there is a difference between re reading so most of us we do the re reading and what we don't do is we don't recall so what is re reading re reading is like suppose you are reading lakshmikant so lakshmikant revise kaise karte hain hum log kya approach hota hai hamara okay we are reading the ncert uh, uh, the lakshmikant after one week we will again open the chapter start reading from the page number 1 paragraph number 1 after one month we will start open the same page and start reading from paragraph number 1 so that is re reading re reading is very boring and in the re reading you keep repeating the same concept and you remain weak in certain concept jo cheeze aapke liye comfortable hoti hain aap usko repeat karte ho jahan pe difficulty aati hai tab tak time khatam ho jata hai aur wo aapka weak ka weak reh jata hai so what is the right way right way is to focus on the recalling what is the meaning of recalling recalling means after you have read anything at least three times after three readings or re readings included right you close the book like in the next revision you close the book and then try to recall what was the content suppose you completed one chapter of fundamental lights you studied it again and then again like teen baar aapne pad liya after that you close the book and then start recalling okay how many fundamental lights are there what is the content of article number 14 what are the supreme court judgment of article 14 so you start recalling and in the process of recalling you you will forget few things those things which you forget open the book and check from there right so you have to fill the gaps so recalling technique is basically gap filling approach because you will not forget everything only 20 to 40% part you will forget and that thing you have to read it again so this is recalling technique the benefit of this technique is that it is more interesting hai na interesting because it will create a vacuum in your mind when you are not able to recall something you will go back it will create a curiosity in your mind so it's not boring like it was in case of re reading so start applying this technique okay and for the exam time make the notes mind maps audio video notes which i told you in earlier in the notes making project in the notes making strategy so focus on those aspect right okay i can see lot of learnings very good are you with me everyone in the revision part any doubt anyone
ओके डेली शेड्यूल ओके डेली शेड्यूल इन द डेली शेड्यूल ऑल दो इट विल डिपेंड अपॉन हाउ मच टाइम डू यू हैव लाइक इफ यू आर ए वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल देन यू हैव फोर आवर्स सिक्स आवर्स इन योर हैंड एंड इट विल डिपेंड अपॉन विच अटेम्प्ट आर यू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर राइट सो नॉर्मली यू शुड हैव ए अप्रोप्रिएट मिक्स of optional practice and gs and current affairs so four things should be covered simultaneously right so depending upon the time suppose uh if i talk about the time limit for 2023 what is the timeline how should you prepare 2023 from august then september october november these four month you focus on the optional plus gs means so in this time give 6 hours to optional and 4 hours to gs means and 2 hours to current affairs from november to march you give Eight hours to prelims. Six hours on GS, two hours on C set, and rest four hours you give to the optional or GS, as per which area you are weak in. After March, that is April and May, hundred percent prelims, and after prelims, hundred percent mains. and after means 100% in personality test for interview right so it will depend upon which time you are into right now abhi aap kis samay mein hain right so normally as i told you have a mix of optional practice that is a practice means answer writing or mcq solving and gs and current affairs in the answer writing or mcq first focus on the previous year question as i told you in the starting only previous year question is something which will which will give you the clarity what to do what not to do right mudita is asking a question sir there is a lot to read from ncert to current affairs to magazines and then we need to attend mocks so how can we manage the time see it has to be in the sequential manner and something some few things have to be in the simultaneous manner like i told you here you have to do the practice on a daily basis of answer writing you have to cover the gs static part and the current affairs right so these three things have to be sync in sync with each other how how these can be in sync with each other so the portion which you are reading for the gs for that portion only you should do the answer writing current affairs simple approach one hour for the newspaper and one hour for the magazine you keep allocating the time keep working after some time the dots will start connecting basically whatever you are reading in the current affairs this will also connect with the static part this you can write in the answer writing this current affair you can utilize in your current of, uh, optional so after a study of 2 3 month everything will start connecting with each other you will start getting the link between each other but initially you have to start separately right so there cannot be any perfect sequence there cannot be any perfect uh, uh, approach that we can do everything simultaneously you have to start with something focus on something after some time you will start getting the link with, be, between each other but you have to maintain the balance between all the all four parts gs static gs current affairs practice of the answer writing or mcq and the optional Be depending upon how much time do you have based upon that you can allocate your time into that are you with me everyone there have been lot of questions about productivity motivation basically so motivation is something which you have to gather but more than motivation i talk about productivity because the problem is not about motivation had there been no motivation that you would not have been sitting here since last 4 years 4 hours 
इन द मॉर्निंग इलेवन ए एम से स्पेशली जो ऑनलाइन वाले लोग हैं वो उनके लिए डिफिकल्ट होता है बैठना ऑफलाइन के लिए तो फिर भी वी एन टू क्लास एंड थिंग्स आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ इच अदर बट द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट प्रोडक्टिविटी मोटिवेशन तो है आपके पास बट आप प्रोडक्टिव नहीं हो ठीक है तो प्रोडक्टिविटी के लिए यू हैव टू अप्लाई सम सिंपल टेक्निक लाइक देर इज वन पोमोडोरो यू नो वट इज पोमोडोरो पोमोडोरो इज ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट ऑफ स्टडी एंड फाइव मिनट ऑफ ब्रेक इन दिस मैनर देर आर मल्टीपल ब्लॉक्स लाइक दिस इज वन ब्लॉक so this block multiplied by 6 that is six block of study it constitutes one session so in this manner on a daily basis you should do minimum 3 to 4 sessions after one session there will be one hour break so four hour ka one session ho jayega three sessions you can do four session to aap लाइक फोर सेशन का मतलब हो गया सिक्सटीन आवर्स वन सेशन इक्वल टू फोर आवर्स थ्री प्लस वन राइट सो पोमोडोर टेक्निक यू कैन यूटिलाइज फॉर द प्रोडक्टिविटी देन सम ऑफ यू कैन डू द ग्रुप स्टडी ऑल्सो बट ग्रुप स्टडी शुड नॉट बिकम गोसिप स्टडी दैट्स ए वेरी नेचुरल टेंडेंसी हम लोग स्टडी से स्टार्ट करते हैं और वो पहुंच कहीं और जाते हैं सो फॉर ग्रुप स्टडी इट शुड बी फॉर्मल शुड बी डू विद friend who has not been your friend in the past it is just a study partner and you can do optional with separate person current affairs with separate person but do it after you have already done yourself group study should not be done for the first time study it should be done only for the revision part before the exam first time study you should do yourself sitting alone right lot of time we are not able to manage the time not able to keep a track of the time so start maintaining keep uh, you know a track of your time by maintaining a diary a diary maintain kijiye right so in our foundation course we give this diary i'll show you you can maintain this diary not responding okay <clears throat> basically diary in the diary you have to maintain the target of today how much you are able to complete what is the backlog what are the queries and in this manner on a daily basis you have to maintain the back uh, the details of your study okay so through that you will be able to know about your pattern that how many hours i am studying for last one month लास्ट वन वीक बिकॉज नॉर्मली हम लोग क्या करते हैं एक दिन अच्छे से पढ़ लिया और फिर पूरे महीने उसी को, इसी को हम बोलते रहते हैं कि हम तो बहुत अच्छे पढ़ रहे हैं और दो दिन अगर अच्छे से नहीं पढ़ पाए तो सारा मोटिवेशन डाउन सबको ब्लेम करने लगते हैं और सबसे पहले ब्लेम स्टार्ट होता है अपने आप से सेल्फ ब्लेम आई एम बैड पर्सन वाई एम बिकमिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ लेजी पर्सन ऑल ऑफ दैट होता है आपके साथ में गिल्ट आना स्टार्ट हो जाता है सो so, गिल्ट क्यों आता है क्योंकि हम लोग अपने आप को ट्रैक नहीं कर पा रहे हैं वी आर ह्यूमन बींग्स ह्यूमन बींग्स ऑलवेज वर्क लाइक दिस वी आर नॉट मशीन्स मशीन्स ऐसे काम करती हैं अभी एसी है एसी के तहत टेम्परेचर डाल दिया एटीन तो एटीन ही रहेगा ये मशीन है हम लोग मशीन नहीं है हमारी बॉडी का टेम्परेचर भी ऊपर नीचे होते रहता है होता है इमोशंस भी अप्स एंड डाउन होते रहते हैं सो वी आर ह्यूमन बींग सो वी कांट बी लाइक दिस बट यस द एवरेज ऑफ आर अप्स एंड डाउन हैज टू बी certain minimum that means we should focus on weekly average hours like weekly average hours can be for example 12 hour into 6 days that is 22 hours so we can decide that okay we will complete 72 hours of study anyhow if suppose on day 1 i am studying 8 hours on day 2 i am studying 12 hours on day 3 i will be studying 16 hours it is okay because i am able to maintain the average of 12 hours are you getting so maintaining an average is more important rather than ki daily basis pe you have to read only you know strictly 12 hours karna hai aapko nahi on some day you will have very good flow to aap bahut extra padhna chahte ho 
आपको मम्मा बुला रही है खाना खा लो वगैरह नहीं नहीं मुझे पढ़ने का मन कर रहा है होता है ऐसा और कभी कभी ऐसा होता है कि सब कुछ परफेक्ट है सब कुछ परफेक्ट है एवरीथिंग इज इन प्लेस बट पढ़ने का मन नहीं कर रहा ऐसा भी होता है बिल्कुल ही मन नहीं कर रहा पढ़ने का सब कुछ परफेक्ट है एवरीथिंग इज इन प्लेस बट पढ़ने का मन नहीं कर रहा बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली वी आर ह्यूमन बींग्स तो अपने आप को रेस्पेक्ट करना सीखो अपने मन की भी सुनो एकदम से मशीन मत बन जाओ बट यस मेंटेन द एवरेज एवरेज को नहीं छोड़ना है अगर एक दिन अच्छा ब्रेक नहीं लेना है ब्रेक लेना है यू हैव टू टेक ए ब्रेक ऑफ डेडिकेटेड वन डे राइट वन डे ब्रेक लीजिए दैट विल रिफ्रेश यू दैट विल गिव यू मोर एनर्जी राइट सो टेक ए ब्रेक ऑफ वन डे बट दिस ब्रेक शुड नॉट बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू मल्टीपल डेज ब्रेक एंड ऑन द ब्रेक डे यू विल नॉट डू एनीथिंग एक्सेप्ट स्टडी सो वर्चुअली यू शुड यू शुड स्टडी फॉर सिक्स डेज विच इंक्लूड्स वन डे ऑफ रिविजन एंड फाइव डे ऑफ स्टडी एंड वन डे विल बी योर हॉलीडे बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली वी आर ह्यूमन बींग्स इफ वी डोंट डू दिस देन वी कांट स्टडी फॉर लॉन्ग और यूपीएससी के लिए कितना पढ़ना पड़ता है अगर आपको 23 में क्लियर करना है 23 का रिजल्ट कब आएगा अप्रैल और मे 23। अभी हम कहां पर हैं ऑलमोस्ट जुलाई में है अभी टू इयर्स टू इयर्स कंसिस्टेंट स्टडी ऑफ 12 आवर्स एंड दैट टू इफ यू आर क्लियरिंग इन फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट विच इज नॉट वेरी यूजुअल इन यूपीएससी दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू स्टडी फॉर टू आवर थ्री टू ईयर्स थ्री ईयर्स फोर ईयर्स राइट सो यू कैन नॉट स्टडी ट्वेल्व आवर्स डेली without any break the new are machine that is not possible so you have to be very very uh, you know apne aap ko bhi thoda sa time do apne aap ko bhi refresh karo recreative apni jo bhi aapki hobbies hai usko follow karo daily basis pe kuch kuch time nikalo right ho oh. अनिरुद्ध सिंह अगर किसी के पास फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम नहीं है उनको शायद पढ़ाई पे फोकस नहीं लग सकता है बस ये ए ही एक ही कंडीशन है सेकंड कुछ नहीं अगर फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट है तो जरूर फोकस बरकरार रहेगा अनिरुद्ध आई ओके दिस कैन बी योर ओपिनियन आई रेस्पेक्ट योर ओपिनियन बट इट इज नॉट अबाउट द फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम और नॉट फ्रीडम इवन इफ यू आर नॉट फाइनेंशियली फ्री बट इफ यू कैन डिवोट फोर आवर्स सिक्स आवर्स डेली right maybe you will take one more attempt but still you can manage financial freedom do not mean 24 hours you have to work financial freedom means you have to work for 8 to 10 hours in any job 8 to 10 hours 10 hours is the maximum job in any company private company mein bhi 10 hours se zyada nahi hoti hai so in the in the 10 hours you have to do whatever you have to do for the financial freedom but after that you still have 14 hours out of 14 hours you can sleep for 6 hours out of balance 8 hours you can study for 6 hours 6 hours if you study daily you can you you might need one more attempt i understand that instead of 23 you can attempt for 24 but if you are dedicated it is doable many people do this and lot of people do the job and they clear the exam there are lot many example including the amana ka sir he also did the job except in the final attempt he left the job but he was working for his financial freedom so financial freedom is not a privilege right most of us belong to the same kind of family so aisa nahi hai ki financial freedom ek har ek given thing hoti hai har kisi ko even after financial freedom there is no focus financial freedom ke baad mein to you become lazy i'm telling you if you are focused you are focused it has least to do with whether you are financially free or not it can be about finances some people might might say about timing some people some people might this say something about else so it is not about where you are free or not but if you have just 4 hours free on a daily basis still you can clear there are so many people who have cleared this right so thank you everyone we have already uh, discussed everything right and uh, you have listen you have been listening since morning very patiently thank you very much and uh, again you can connect us connect us connect to us through the counseling and we will uh, our team will be calling you for feedback also and we are starting the foundation course of ncrt and the gs on the 4th of august so those of you are interested you can join
in the foundation course we follow the same approach for 23 we'll be following the same approach that is focusing on the ncrt and mains initially after this focusing on the prelims and then uh, so on right so in the foundation course we will be giving you 